session. Now, before we really dive into the main part of this session, I'm going to ask favor naman. Favor naman ng konti. This is a small favor. What I want you to do is the following. I want you to take notes. Okay, take notes. Because there's a lot of information we're going to unpack. This is a free webinar that we're doing. So I want you to take notes. Not just because, you know, you, you want to go back to it. Pero a lot of the times, people, ako naman, when I was in school, mas naintindihan ko yung lesson when I'm taking notes. Okay, so even if di ko balikan yung notes ko, mas naintindihan ko when I'm writing it down. So take notes. And you can also go back to it. Once you hear some important things, take notes. Second is to take action. This is the most important thing. If you're just here, if you're just watching, and wala kayong gagawin, di ba? you're just going to watch and say, oh, ang ganda, ang galing, no? Makapag-work online naman ako. Pero wala kayong gagawin, di ba? walang action. Then it's useless. Lahat ng sasabihin ko, lahat ng, like the, the time you're spending right now is going to be useless if you don't take action. So, yun, I want you guys to take action. Okay, I want you guys to take action. Very, very important. You're going to learn so many things, but most importantly is for you to take action. Oh, if, if you want, if, okay, ba? will you guys take action? If, if you will take action, um, because nabi sa take notes, pero if you will take action, type in the comments, take, oh, ito, si sabi na ni Iris, um, take action. Diba? I will take action or take action. Or kahit action lang sabihin nyo if, if you're Pabilisan lang action, kahit one word. Because I want you guys to commit to it. I want you guys to commit to taking action. You're not just here to watch and parang, oh, parang nice niya na, and, and just forget about it. But I want you guys to be here to take action. Okay, so type it in the comment section action or take action as a commitment. That's your own commitment. Okay, commitment that you will be taking action and you're not just here to watch and 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 parang TV lang, parang Netflix lang, diba? Oh, thank you, Iris, Ska, Vaughn, Lawrence, Cherry, Michelle, Emma, um, Lou, Beth, Jackie, Eileen, uh, Relaine, Ayan, Tessa, taking action. Ayun, we guys are here to take action. Mian, and we have a lot of people commenting down below. Yeah, so it's very important. Most important thing is for you to take action. Even if it's just one thing that you do, as long as you take action. Okay, the third thing that I want you to do is I want you to take your friends with you. Okay. Once again, we're sharing this information, we're sharing it for free, and we want to help other people. And what you can do, naman, diba? what you can do to help others is also to share this with your friends, to share this with your family. You can hit that share button. It also helps us because we want to, of course, spread this information out. So hit that share button, share this with them, or tag your friends. We'd really, really appreciate it. If you share this with your family and friends, so again, if you if you don't forget to share. Um, you know, and also, you can also heart the, this webinar. It's nice, you know, to, to see that if you appreciate naman, the, the time that we're taking, the effort that we're taking to create these slides and to, 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 to teach this, hit that heart button, you know, para alam naman namin. And it's Valentine's, diba? Magba Valentine's. So, dapat maraming hearts, ha? So, hit that heart button over there, aside from sharing it as well. Um, I think, sabi ni Nene can't hear, but I think, si Nene lang. Okay, I think everyone else is okay. Seems like it. Nobody else is complaining, so I think she needs to refresh or something. Somebody can comment or reply to her na refresh lang, because she can't hear me and I can't type right now. So, okay, um, at the end of this webinar, we're gonna we're gonna give certificates, but not 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 right now. But at the end, you have to stay until the end of the webinar. And the reason for this is because I want to make sure that you guys actually listen that you guys actually learn and we're going to also be asking a few questions from you um but yeah, i'm going to share tonight how you later how you can get a webinar a certificate for this webinar and that certificate is something that you can show to potential clients to potential employers that it shows that you take initiative and then you spend time to actually learn hindi lang kayo apply apply ng trabaho pero you actually learn um and is this a stepping stone in able to find jobs in Upwork? Yes, uh, Sean's question. Yes, this is a stepping stone for a lot of people. This is parang the first stepping stone. Ito yung introduction nila to getting work online. You know, so yes, this could be like a very, a very parang first or second stepping stone for you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and 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 start with our 
uh, part one. Oh, before I forget, we also have a surprise announcement later. Um, it's Valentine's tomorrow, right? It's Valentine's Day tomorrow. So we do have a surprise announcement related to that. Sige, exciting. But uh, it's at the end of the webinar at around 10 o'clock. So stay on. Don't just come back later, pero stay on for the whole time so you can also learn these things. Sige. So let's go ahead. Let's dive right into this session. Okay. So first of all, let's talk about online freelancing. Okay. Now part one, we've divided this into, into multiple parts. So part one is talking about what is online freelancing. Talaga. Ito yung pinaka basic, ito yung foundation that I want you guys to learn muna before we talk about yung mga jobs, yung mga skills, paano mag-apply, ganun. Let's talk about the basics. We have to understand yung pinaka basics muna. Sige. So first question, what is freelancing? Diba? So freelancing, uh, simply put, it's it means that you're you're self-employed. Okay, so anong ibig sabihin ng self-employed? Anong ibig sabihin ng self-employed? It means you do some work and you get paid for the work. You know, you can get paid by the hour. You can also get paid by the project. So that's what it means when you are self-employed. You meaning you you do work and you get paid for it. And it's different from working for a company okay hindi ka employed hindi ka empleyado okay so let me let me give some examples to make this to make this more clear okay yeah like your own boss or so, um, being your own boss um to Xian's question yes if even if you watch the replay you can still get the certificate it's okay because i understand yung iba may mga schedule yung iba may commitment okay so going back what is freelancing and, and we have some examples here about people who are self Employed. So, sino itong mga tao na to na self-employed? So, first of all, we've got uh, mga makeup artist. We've got makeup artists. These are some people who are self-employed. And how are they self-employed? So, makeup artists, they don't work most, but a lot of them. Yung mga freelance makeup artists, they don't work for a specific employer. Uh, let's say you have a party or you have a wedding. Then you get a makeup artist, right? You hire a makeup artist, pero she's not employed by you. Diba yung makeup artist? They're not, they're not employed by you. You pay them to do work. And pagkatapos ng project, pagkatapos ng event, tapos na. That's it. You just pay them for that. You don't, unlike sa empl empleyado, diba? When you're employed, the employer tells you paano magawin yung trabaho mo, diba? Okay, this is how you do it. Ito yung step by step, yung gagawin mo. May schedule ka, ganun. When you're self-employed, hindi ganun. You know how to do it. Yung makeup artists, they, they know better than the clients. Diba? So they know how to do it. They'll do it their own way. Another example is yung mga... Ay, teka lang, hindi move. Yung mga, ano, hilot. Yung mga massage. Massage therapists. Right? Massage therapists, a lot of them, there there are, yes, there are mga empleyado na massage therapists and they work for mga, like, um, Thai Boran and, and these different massage um, parlors. Pero yung iba, freelancer. So they work, they're self-employed. They, you, you call them, you say, okay, I need a massage. They do the massage and you know, it's done, right? And you pay them and that's it. You don't tell them how to do their job. They don't have a specific schedule. They, they, they work on specific, they work on projects and they get paid for projects. So, okay, um, what are some other examples kaya of freelancing? Mga real world examples. You know? we're, we're talking about some mga examples na makakarelate tayo. So that you know, it's easy for us to understand. Um, but what are some examples of people who are self-employed, of freelancers, meaning they're not employed by a specific company and they can work for different, multiple companies or multiple people. The same thing with mga freelance hilot. The same thing with mga freelance na makeup artists. They can work for multiple clients, diba? In one week, a makeup artist can have five clients or even more. Diba? Or the same thing with hilot. In one day, you can have five clients, right? So they don't work for one specific company. Um, ito, event coordinator, nice. Um, event stylists, right? Videographers, um, Lala Move rider. Oh, yung mga riders, um, well, yung mga riders, they're, they're working under Lala Move. So it, it's, it's a different kind of setup a lot of times. Photographers, caterers, oh, oh. tailors, dressmakers, graphic artists, project-based consultants, wedding planners. Ayan, so you guys get the idea, di ba? You guys get the idea. Claro ba of, of what it means to be self-employed? Let me know if it's clear or if it's not clear or if we need to repeat anything. Because I want you guys to get this. Ito yung pinaka-basic. Ito yung mga foundation natin. 
Okay? Yung live selling, it's more parang business siya. Because uh, it's more of like you're selling products. It's more of business rather than you do a service and you do work for, for specific clients or specific individuals. Say so, yeah, clear, clear. Good to hear. Okay, so continuing, oh, diba? makeup artists, mga hilot, yung mga other professionals, um, they're for offline work, right? Th those are offline freelancers. If we translate this into services over the internet, then we've got online freelancers. Oh, itong mga makeup artists, yung mga mga hihilot, yung mga photographer, yes, they can have a website, they can have a Facebook page, pwede sila mag, mag live sa Facebook, tapos talking about their services, pero yung the nature of, of what they do, the nature of yung, the, of their work is offline. Ginagawa nila offline, ba? Yung hilot, yun, pwede online yun, ba? Um, yung photography, mahirap online yun. Same thing with makeup artists. This is all, the nature of their work is offline. Even, there, even if they do marketing online. Pero, when we're talking about online freelancers, we're talking about you doing work 100% online. Yung trabaho mo mismo is 100% online. You don't need to meet people face to face. So we have some examples here of mga offline freelancers. Ano mga example? Virtual assistants. We've got graphic designers. We've got blog writers. And and ano pang ibang examples? I know you guys know of more examples, right? So you can type in this even and it it'll help those who are not very familiar with yung mga mga online freelancing na trabaho. Pero type nyo ano pa yung mga ibang online freelancing na trabaho? Okay. Um, wala pa palang online makeup artists like booming for online. May, may ano, on, yung mga makeup artists nag-tutor, di ba? Mga lessons. Yun pwede online. Yung mga makeup artists na nagtuturo. I've seen mga courses. And di ba may YouTube videos din of makeup artists. Ganun. Pero there are courses like, and these are more businesses. Hindi sila freelancer, but these are more online business. Pero pwede sila online business. Um, web designer, social media manager, data encoder. Oh, tama, tama. SEO, data entity specialist, medical transcriptionist, social media specialist or manager, web developer. Good, good job. Online tutors, um, social media, daming, daming social media, ESL, chat support the rep, web design. Oh, these are these are great examples, guys. So good job. Um, chiropractic practitioner, mahirap going online yun. The parang, sa parang massage yun when you do. Um, chiropractic work, so it's a bit hard to do it online. Vloggers is vloggers considered freelancer? Um, no, they're not considered freelancer. Most vloggers, what they are, is they are parang businessmen. Actually, they're they're more of of, of starting their own business. Na more in, in getting revenue from ads, getting revenue from products. Those are more towards the business side because they don't perform a service for a specific company or a specific client. Okay, they, they don't offer services. Yung mga freelancers, what we do is we offer services. So yung mga web designs, yung mga itong AutoCAD draftsmen, we offer these services online. Okay. Pero yung mga, yung mga vloggers, um, it's more of they have their own business. Itong mga e-commerce sellers din, they have, they have their own business online. Okay, is that clear? Um, yung mga, ano, uh, someone asked, hindi ko na magkita yung question. Uh, gusto sana malaman kung paano talaga. Yes, um, Bernice, we're, we're getting there. Introduction pa lang. We're talking about this right now. Okay, technical support. E-commerce, uh, like e-commerce VAs, uh, Instagram specialists. Kung magaling ka sa Instagram, magaling ka sa Facebook, pwede, pwede. Oh, pwede replay. Still on the road. Clear. Okay, good to hear. Sige. So, moving forward. Moving forward. So, now that we have parang a, a clear understanding of what freelancing is, what I want to do is I want to parang dispel yung mga myths when it comes to freelancing. Yung mga truths versus mga myths when it comes to freelancing. Because a lot of people think na ganito yung freelancing. They, they have a lot of parang thoughts na ganito yung freelancing. Pero hindi naman ganyan. So, what are some examples here? That freelancers don't get paid well. A lot of people think na Ay, yung mga freelancers parang they, they don't earn a lot of money. Um, Pero sa totoo lang, we have a lot of freelancers that earn a hundred thousand um, or more every single month. Okay, and that's malaki yun ng hundred thousand, ba? Malaki na yun. <laughs> so freelancers can get paid very well. We've seen mga students, yung mga students of VA bootcamp who used to be baggers, who used to be sales ladies, and yung kita nila every month, mga ten thousand le or less. 
yung mga factory worker, yung mga ganun, mga 10,000 below yung kita nila every month. And nakakapagod pa yung trabaho. They're standing the whole day, they're, 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 yung mga factory worker, they're doing things the whole day. And right now, the right now they they've learned about freelancing. They've enrolled in the VA bootcamp. They've applied for jobs, um, and they earn mga thirty thousand a month. Average yung thirty thousand. Yung iba more pa. Yung iba naka fifty, naka hundred thousand na. Pero yung iba thirty thousand. And and yung quality of life mo it really changes if you're earning ten thousand or you're earning thirty thousand pesos. You can provide for your family na hindi kayo magugutom sa ten thousand parang magugutom kayo sa thirty thousand. You can can buy a lot more, diba? you can buy yung food, you can really provide for your family. And this is what we're seeing. Yung mga pre- people who before were not paid well, before were not paid well, oh, 15k per month, pagod pa sa biyahe, diba? Tapos spending so many hours pa sa biyahe. Um, so, freelancers, we don't have to spend time sa biyahe. Francis, ayaw maniwala ni Francis, sabi niya, not through six digits. Well, it's up to you, but you can try it out. You can you can see then um, how people are able to earn. So yeah, yung second is freelancing is unstable. Just like yung mga ano, just like mga let's say mga contractors, mga mga self-employed. Suddenly freelancing is unstable. Well, this is it can be true sa iba, pero there are ways to make it more stable. Okay, and well, if we talk about unstable, even if you work. In a company right now, you can it can be very unstable. Kita nyo, di ba? Right, right now, what's happening? Mga furloughs, um, ang dami na tatanggal sa trabaho, kahit yung mga OFW, di ba? It's, everything is very unstable, actually. And sabihin mo, freelancing is unstable. Um, it, there's a chance you can lose work, but it's very easy for you to get new work. So, it can be up and down a little bit, pero para sa akin, um, with the benefits that you get, it's not it's not unstable compared to parang most jobs especially right now third myth is that freelancing is easy okay type type lang easy money you know, diba sa facebook ang dami mga easy money diba oh you can get you can earn so much money type type ka lang sa facebook message message ka lang sa facebook or uh, easy money it's not with freelancing you don't get easy money you have to work for it you have to enhance the skill. You have to work hard for it, and when you when you put in the work, you will get paid for it. That's when you will see yung efforts naman. Hindi naman hindi naman walang it's not easy na hindi naman walang effort. You put in effort, and then you will get get paid accordingly, and you get paid more than if you put in effort actually sa most offline na work. Um, so it's not easy when when you see mga Yung mga posts, oh, join lang kayo dito, di ba? Bayad lang kayo ng 30,000 and you can get 100,000, di ba? Mol, ang daming scams ngayon, di ba? So, so be very careful. If if easy money, most likely scam yun. I'm like 99% scam yun. Sige, the next myth is that freelancing is hard. Parang contradicting, di ba? Sabi ko, you have to learn, you have to put in the work, and then you can get paid for it. Pero, it's not the most difficult thing. Hindi siya easy, pero hindi siya sobrang hirap. Okay, that, that's what we mean over here. Some people say, ay, di ko kaya mag-freelance. Parang para sa mga techie lang yan. Ay, di ko kaya mag-freelance kasi I'm already 50 years old. Freelancing, if you're willing to learn, pwede. We've seen people before, we've seen mga freelancers na in their mid-50s na before, hin- parang hindi marunong mag-computer halos, pero they they put in the effort, they studied it, and they learned, and right now, they're able to earn money online. Okay? Same din sa mga, hindi ako magaling mag-English, diba? Ang daming sabi nun, hindi ko magaling mag-English, pero you, if you're willing to put in the effort, if you're willing to learn, kaya. Okay, kaya. You, as long as you're hardworking, it's possible. Okay. Um, now, freelancing gives you freedom. Okay, so this is parang truth versus myth. Freelancing does give you freedom in the sense that you have you can well we'll go over the benefits later. It gives you a lot of freedom, pero um, you also have to have discipline for yourself. Okay, because you're no longer working for a company, you no longer have a boss. Na if you're if, nakatulog ka sa, sa trabaho, parang you'll get scolded and they'll, and, and they're, they're making sure na gagawin mo yung trabaho mo. Right now, in, in online freelancing, you're in charge of yourself. 
Okay? You're in charge of yourself. So, may freedom ka, pero if you want to succeed, you also have to have discipline. Okay? Oo. May freedom naman talaga. Actually, ang daming freedom, and we'll go over that, pero kailangan may discipline din. Alright, so, let's go over, um, what if di ako magaling mag-computer? You can, you can learn it. We've seen people na walang computer. Na walang computer. Na, what they did is, dati may mga internet cafe, right now, parang mahirap ang internet cafe, di ba? Pero yung ibang students natin, nakita natin, what they do is, they go to an internet cafe, they, they study there, they apply for jobs there, and then later, and then they get hired. Yung iba nag-interview. I remember we had a student, sorry, may parang may nakapasok sa mata ko. We had a student before na, um, nag in interview siya tapos ang ingay kasi yung mga mga ka- naglalaro ng counter strike <laughs> yung mga kids in the background pero the, the client the, the employer or the client understood it and she got hired and nakabili naman siya ng laptop pero when she first started ayun na sa internet cafe lang um yung iba nakik- nakikihiram lang ng computer ganun so we've we've seen a lot na even if walang computer they learn they they're able to get access to a computer they're able to learn how to do it and kahit hindi sila techie as long as they can do the work and as long as they're willing to learn, yun naman ang pinaka-importante. Um, ay, ayan pala si Francis. <laughs> um, he meant na not true na doesn't get paid well. I'm earning consistent. Oh, six-digit earner pala. Sorry, sorry. Hindi ko naintindihan yung, yung message mo kanina, Francis. I got it the other way around. Pero, yeah, Francis, ayun. Six-digit earner. Feeling ko kaya naman talaga kasi magagaling naman talaga tayo. Di lang tayo confident. Isa din yun sa mga, mga Pilipino, hindi tayo confident. Ang galing natin, di ba? Ang hardworking natin. Dami nating skills. Pero hindi tayo confident. Yun ang, that's one of the downsides sa mga Pinoy. Um, that's why we don't get paid well and we don't earn a lot because we're not confident. Pero yun, we, we have to ito, be, be willing to learn. Ito, I have a question for you. Are you willing to learn? Are you willing to put in the effort? Okay. Because freelancing, it's not easy. It's not impossible then. What it needs is effort. So, ito, if you're willing to put in effort, I want you, ito, commitment naman tayo na effort. Okay, just type in the word effort. If you're willing to put in effort. Okay, you know, you you, you will, no more soup call. Oh, call center din ako galing. Wala nang soup call dito sa, sa freelancing. Uh, I'm just I'm just browsing in the comments here. I can't read everything. Mother like may have goals, working with kids. If you come against a computer, you can learn it. Uh, it as long as you, you have that willingness to learn. Uh, spend more time with family. Uh, no need to be expert. Ayun, daming daming willing. Malanis, Fatima, Jem, Christine, Era, Jorofi, Cram, K. Ayun. We're not confident enough. Oh, we're not confident enough. Um and that's something we have to learn. It's something that it's not taught to schools, pero it's something we have to learn if we want to succeed. Um, and you can start learning now, even if you're 30, 40, 50. You can, it's, not, it's never too late to, to learn new things. It's never too late to improve. It's never too late to increase your income, diba? Even if you're, you're 60. It's, it's, we have some students who are in their 60s and they're still willing to put in effort, they're still willing to work hard and to start something new, even in their 60s. So if you, if, if kaya nila, na I know most of you probably, kita ko mga picture nyo, nasa 20s, 30s, ganun. If kaya nila, kaya nyo din, diba? Okay, um, so what are the benefits, diba? So we talked about some truths, some myths. So ano ba talaga yung mga benefits when it comes to um, working from home? Sige, so let's go over some benefits. A for effort, <laughs> Mark. Very much willing to learn. Great to hear. Um, confidence is believing in oneself. Ang bilis sabihin, ba? Believe in yourself. But it's hard, but It's hard to actually do. Um, and it takes practice. Kailangan na maraming practice yung, yung confidence. Sige. So let's talk about the benefits. We, talk, we talked about yung mga myths. We talked about, about what freelancing is. So right now, I want to show you the benefits of freelancing so that you can decide if this is for you. Even if you're watching the replay, even if you're not watching it live, yeah, this is something that uh, I think will help you decide if this is for you or not. So, yeah, so what are the benefits? First, first of all, putol pa yung H. You can spend more time with family. When you're working from home, you have that ability to spend more time with family. Why? Why do you have, Why can you spend more time with family when you're freelancing? Number one. A lot of the freelancers they're earning more 
they're earning more money than what they used to. So they don't need to work. You mean they don't work full time, part time lang. Isipin mo, if you can work part time, four hours a day, tapos you can earn thirty thousand, de ba? And the the other time that you spend with your family. I know a lot a lot of you have kids. You spend that with your kids, right? Yes, you can work more. You can work eight hours. You can earn twelve hours. You can earn however many thousands. Pero, yung yung for a lot of us, the priority is family, right? As long as you earn enough, hindi naman kailangan na na rich, right? As long as you can earn enough to support your family and 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 yun yun ang importante. And then the rest, you spend time with your family. So a lot of people earn. A lot of earn like twenty, thirty thousand, and they're only working four hours a day. Okay, so yeah, may may times let to spend more with the family, and a lot of the schedules. So as uh, the number two reason why you can spend more time with your family is because you mga ibang schedule is flexi time. So you can you can work as as long as matatapos mo yung trabaho by the deadline. Yun ang importante. Okay. Um, the client needs, let's say, a PowerPoint presentation. Katulad nito, may PowerPoint. May deadline lang. You don't need to work eight to five. You can work at five in the afternoon until gabi. You can do that. It's up to you. As long as matatapos mo yung trabaho before the deadline. Yun ang, that's what most clients care about. Yung ibang trabaho, oo, oh, may schedule. Depende sa trabaho. Pero most of the work out there, walang schedule. Sometimes may mga meetings. Diba? May meetings that you have to attend. Pero the actual work itself, most of the time, we're lacking schedule, and the third reason why you can spend more time with family, and a lot of people love this, is walang traffic, de ba? Walang traffic when it comes to doing freelance work. I remember before I used to, um, there was a time I was working in Manila, um, I was traveling from Paranaque to Quezon City, and then semi rush hour, grabe yung ano, grabe halos two to three hours one way yung biyahe ko. Um, and then so back and forth, so mga four to six hours yung biyahe ko. That's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. That's time you can spend with your family. Ako, I was I was in my early twenties by that time, mga twenty one, twenty two ganon. So, but I had I had a lot of time. Pero para sa akin sayang pa rin, Even if I was really young, it was it's wasted time. And lalo na when you have when you have family, de ba? When you have a special uh, partner mo, who 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 you'd want to spend more time with. Um, and and kids, right? That time is you'll say sayang talaga. You you won't be able to see your, your kids grow up. I've seen a lot of people they weren't there with their kids because they're stuck at work, they're stuck in traffic. Pero ito when you're working from home, when you're working online, when you're freelancing online, you can have that time with your family. So, um, just anong gamit mo headset with mic? Um, aftershocks. So this is like a special. Heads up, well, I'm traffic. Kayo, I want to ask you guys, how many, th- how much time do you spend in traffic every day, going back and forth to the office? Baka hindi ngayon because you you might be working from home. Pero, um, you know, in normal circumstances, how much time do you spend back and forth? Uh, type nyo lang. How many hours? Uh, two way, two way back and forth. A survey tayo. Tingnan natin. Sino yano? Sino sino yung winner dito? Was the, the highest amount of hours? Okay. The second benefit of working from home, it, oh, you can work according to your own schedule. I kind of covered this in the in the first point. But yun, flexi time, diba? Flexi time. And second, not only with your own schedule, but also um, you can work anywhere, halos. As long as you have internet. A lot of the times when I'm working, I just bring my cell phone, tapos naka tether, naka 4G. Mostly sa city, naka 4G naman, diba? Naka LT, naka 4G. And um, I just use that connection to connect to the internet, and I can go to a cafe. Um, I can go to the beach, pa, de ba? Uh, I was I was able to travel, nakapag parang vacation, work vacation. Um, as long as you have internet, and you can visit family members. If you have internet lang, even your cell phone lang, as long as may signal, and you bring your laptop, you know, that's what I do a lot of the times. Um, oh, yun traffic. Next is ito. You do you won't have to waste time in traffic. I kind of covered this earlier, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking at your times here. One hour, three hours, four to five. Oh, parang two hours, three hours, QC to Makati. Um, five hours, three minutes away. Oh, see, si Anna. 15 hours. Isang araw, Jay. Grabe yun, ah. 
Totoo, 15 hours. Parang ano, that's 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 way too much. You really should work from home kung ganun. 2 to 3 hours na ako po sa UV. Um way back. Uh, ako dati parang tricycle tapos bus going to ano going to the MRT tapos MRT tapos jeep ganun yung biyahe ko dati. 3 hours malabon to SM North. Palang wala wala pang pauwi. So 6 hours si Carmela. Grabe lang yung, yung traffic, diba? And that's that's a huge a huge amount of time wasted that you could you could I don't know, you could be spending time with your family. Um the next benefit of working from home is you can earn more. You're being paid in dollars dito. You're you're being most of the time we're working most of the clients are US, yung iba UK, yung iba Canada, uh, Australia, and yung iba mga different countries. But a lot of times we're being paid in dollars. Kaya nga, you can earn 30,000 tapos part-time ka lang, diba? Or you can earn 100,000 um, full-time. Yung iba kaya nila part-time 100,000 pero grabe na yun. Pero most people na who are hitting 50,000, 100,000 are working full-time, pero even if you're just working part-time, you still earn a lot of money. 4 hours, 12 hours duty, 16 hours araw-araw. Um, ito sabi ni Tin, wala nang time sa family kasi pagod. Oh, when you get home tap, you can't play with your kids pa, diba? Kasi pagod ka na. Alis sa bahay, tulog pa mga kids. Uwi ako, tulog na rin mga kids dahil almost 12 midnight ako naka-uwi. Then luwas ulit. It's, it's, it's very sad, diba? The, the, the situation we're living in because of the traffic, because of the work that we have to do, and we're sacrificing yung mga most important things, diba? Which is time with the family, time with the kids. That's more important than just earning, diba? So, these are these are very strong benefits, and that's why a lot of you know, Filipinos are looking to work online, right? Because there are maganda talaga yung benefits. Okay, um, so let's compare freelancing versus corporate work. Compare natin. Um, so on the left, ito, we have freelancing. On the right, uh, we have yung corporate work. So freelancing, you have freedom of time. Diba? Sabi ko, flexi sked, pwede. Pero when, when we are working in an office, when we're working in corporate, a lot of the times we're stuck in a specific shift. Right? If you need to go to the hospital, if you need a checkup, if you need to go to your parang, yung, yung parent-teacher meetings sa school, mahirap when you're stuck in a specific shift. But in, in freelancing, uh, we had to go to the doctor, for example, last week. Tapos, and did work before the doctor's appointment. Um, kahit nasa waiting room, actually. Uh, yung, yung parang waiting area. Um, kasi yung doctor parang late. <laughs> late ng one hour yung doctor. So, while waiting, um, I was able to do work pa, di ba? And then after, yun. So, maganda yung flexibility. Um, as long as may internet ka, you can work anywhere. And plus, you have the flexibility of time. Rather than being, you know, being stuck in specific shift. In freelancing, ito, you are your own boss. Okay? In corporate work, you deal with boss. And yung isa, office politics pa. Diba? Yung, yung iba, you can't get promoted dahil sa office politics. And we see that a lot in corporate. Pero in freelancing, you're your own boss. Which can be, it's, it's a good thing most of the time. Pero like I said earlier, diba? you also have to have discipline so that you ensure that work gets done. Sige. Next to freelancing. Um, you have time with family, you know, you're working from home, you have time from family, corporate, you're stuck in traffic a lot of the time. And, uh, we covered this earlier and we, we talked about this, or toxic environments, office, but right? Next in freelancing, you have growth and opportunities. Anong ibig sabihin ng, ng may growth and opportunities because of freelancing? Well, in corporate work, right? you're often stuck in your growth. You're often stuck in your position. And makakaradate ako nito because I used to work in the call center. Right? Kapag nasa call center ka, you can't, yung growth mo is very limited. Yung trabaho mo is call center lang. You can't really, really do something else. If, if, you, if you're passionate about something else, you can't go into it. So freelancing, you can change, you can change your career. If you learn a new skill, let's say, ngayon, uh, graphic designer ka, sige, drawing, drawing ka ng mga logo, ganun. And later on, parang gusto ko mag-writing ah. You find it, you find it in your heart na mag-writer ka. You can learn how to do writing. You can go into it very, very easily. Unlike nasa call center ka, okay, happy ka taking calls, pero later on, gusto mong mag, ano, gusto mong mag um, bookkeeping or gusto mong mag-sales lady. Di pwede, mahirap yun, di ba? 
you have a hard time. And usually you'll start to lit. You'll let's say it's a call center, you're ordering twenty, twenty-five thousand, and then you um you change your I know you change your career and you're earning I know twelve thousand na lang, diba? Unlike sa freelancing, you can earn you can change your career and you can still earn a similar amount of money. Yung iba mas malaki pa. Okay, so I want to ask you a question, guys. I want to ask you a question at this point. Now, we talked about the benefits. We talked about the differences between freelancing and corporate work. So for you, what is number one? Okay, do you think freelancing is right for you? Number two, why? Why do you think freelancing is right for you? Or why do you think freelancing is not right for you? Okay, so type that in the comment section. Why freelancing is right for you? Yes, so is it yes or no? Start with yes or no. Is freelancing right for you? Yes. Why? Okay. Or is freelancing right for you? No. That was why. Why do you think it's not right for you? Or why do you think it's right for you? Decided to go full time freelancing, less stress, walang toxic na, na, sa op, na ka opisina. Oh, dati yung parang, I remember before, yung call center, yung, yung mga toxic politics. Sip sipan sa corporate world, oh, oh. At least pag freelancing pala, sarili mo, sarili mo lang yung kalaban mo, oh. Yun talaga, sarili mo yung kalaban mo. Um, it's yung discipline and, and, and you putting in hard work, you learning, you continuing um, to push yourself. Yun ang pinaka-importante. Uh, corporate stock knowledge, uh, ito willing to learn. At least in corporate, also in corporate, you will face the same space wall every working day. O tama pala, wala pala sa benefits. Diba? Yung, yung same space every day. At least, um, kami naman, kami ng... ng, ng fiance ko, what we do is we both work online. So, kapag pagod sa bahay, we go out. Um, minsan Starbucks, minsan um, yung, mga, yung, mga, yung mga cake cake places or Jayco, mga ganun. So, para iba-iba na yung environment. Hindi naman boring, diba? So much growth and opportunities, corporate, world politics, uh, freelancing is right for me. Yes, because I'm open to learn many things. Yes, because of the freedom. Um, Gail, any advice? Just get into it. Just start learning on the side. You're a chef right now. You can start learning on the side. Um, if may time ka to do it or may days off ka, just start learning. Start getting more information. And if you have an emergency fund, then you can start thinking about transitioning. But I think we're covering this later also in the presentation. Inom na ako big. Lou wants to spend time with kids. Nene, or especially family, diba? That's one of the biggest reasons. Ano yung laptop mo? Jen, ano yung specs? Pa post it down. It fits the new normal. Uh, not sure, not confident. I have the skills. Okay, Wang, don't worry. We'll we'll cover this. We'll we'll cover this later. This is part of the presentation. Let me also just paste that here in in my my notes. Willing to explore the freelancing world. Uh, need more income for the kids. My goal is to have more flexible time with family, together with family. I think it's for me, family. Parang yung number one reason talaga is family. Yeah. OFW, family, then take care of kids. Um, just quit uh, to pursue online freelancing. Nice one, Rodel. Go. Yes, spend more time with family and friends, with parents. Oh, yung parents din. But not just kids, but also parents, right? Spending time with them is important. To earn more. Why time and money? Oh, yes, because I want to push myself. Um, need more time with family. Oh, spend time with family. Sabi ni Cindy, si Catherine, ni baby. Uh -oh. Less toxic. Hindi toxic yung, yung environment. Si Jason. Oh, oy, ganda na pangalan mo. Um, OFW in Korea and contract. It's hard to go back applying to work. Oh, yung mga OFW, what I've seen sa ibang OFW is that wait, when they come back, they have to start over. So they're earning... I know somebody who was earning 80,000 before working in Korea actually. And when he came back to the Philippines, ang hirap makahanap na trabaho. And then when he found work, parang 15,000 lang yung, yung monthly. So it's it's really hard. Oh, yes, yes. Check ko lang. I can't read all the comments na dami pala. Um, safe sa COVID, no traffic. Um, we won't. Isa, we won't be covering that today. We're talking more about the basics. Client negotiations a bit more um, complex. Um, so we're focused more on the basics tonight. Tingnan ko kung may mga no dito para ma-address natin. Manage time, freedom, uh -oh, more income for family. <clears throat> Pag 
Pwede naman older laptop, oo. Um, and then eventually, you, you'd want to upgrade. You want to upgrade your computer. Um, because kapag older yung laptop mo, you can do less. You, you do less work in the same amount of time because you're waiting pa, nag, naghang yung computer, bagal. And then you, you get paid less then because you're not able to do work quickly. So once you're able to afford to get a better computer, I always recommend get a better computer. And, and in the Facebook group we have, in Flipped, our Facebook group, we have a lot of, I've seen a lot of comments lately about what kind of computer should I buy. There are people asking for advice and people giving advice then. Um, parang yes, lahat. Yes, uh, learn more, progress more, parang self-development. Um, yes, spend more time with family. Um, okay, we can, we can, I know. Our our content team, the one the people who plan this, are watching right now. So we'll, we can take note of that. Isa yung client negotiation and and so on. Um, skills we'll talk about that in in, in a little bit. All right. So let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, we won't focus too much on this. We still have a lot to cover for tonight. Um. So ito ano mga common objections. These are and I want to cover the common objections when it comes to freelancing because a lot of people think na din la kaya, that they can't go into freelancing because of certain reasons. Okay. And and I want to address them tonight. So one of one of the biggest reasons that people ask about is age. They say, "Hey, matanda na ako para sa, you know, to learn new things. Um, na trabaho na nakaharap sa computer, di ko alam yan. No, like I mentioned earlier, di ba? We've seen people in their 60s who didn't work online and they're starting to learn. What matters is not your age, and age is just a number, di ba? Sabi nila. What matters is your passion. What matters is your attitude." E kung matanda yung attitude mo na, ah, wag yan, ayoko yan. And you can't, you can't succeed in freelancing. Pero, if, even if you're 60, 65, you know, and your attitude is young, your attitude is, sige, I can do it. Sige, I'm willing to learn. Pwede ka dito. Yung iba naman, um, ask this question because they think they're too young. Okay? And if you're below 18, it's a bit harder uh, because you have to submit, sometimes for, to create like a PayPal account or to get a bank account, you need to submit documents na, and you have to be 18 pero some if if you have the support of your parents who can help you out then um, that's another that's another way then they can help you open a bank account um, and then you can use that bank account to get kasi online transactions so so kailangan may bank account hindi siya cash hindi siya cash basis so um, if you're below 18 you might need help from um uh uh, uh anong, anong opposite ng minor major from someone who's over 18 um, but you can still do the work naman. As long as, like I said, as long as you're willing, as long as you want to put in the work, you can do it. Yeah. Second is gender. Okay. The second common objection that people think of is gender. Okay. Um, ay, pambabae lang yan. Because most, most of the people who work online are actually female. Um, we did a survey a few years ago and we found out that parang two-thirds ng people who are working online, actually more than two-thirds, are Females or women. Why? It's because they want to take care of their kids. That's, that's one of the biggest reasons. Is because they want to take care of their kids, and it's easier. Even if we deny it, it's easier for men to get promoted. It's easier for men to get higher-paying jobs. Kaya naman ng mga females, pero because of the culture, it's easier. Parang we, yung mga yung yung office, yung corporate view men as better managers. Diba? Parang yun ang yun ang Yun ang parang misconception. So it's harder for females to succeed, and and but it's therefore they look online, they can get paid a lot of money, right? So yeah, next is educational attainment. Right? Educational attainment. Yung iba they're hesitant to join freelancing because high school grad lang daw. Okay, um, and it's okay. We've seen a lot of successful freelancers na high school grad lang na they didn't spend a day in college. Um, we have, if Angie's here, the, you know, Angie's very young. I think Angie's 19. Um, sorry, na bulgar ko pala. Pero <laughs> Angie's 19. Um, and yeah, she's she's able to earn a good amount of money, even though she's she's still a teenager. We've seen ibang teenagers. Uh, she just one example. We've seen other teenagers who are able to earn, um, who have not gone to college or have have dropped out of college, did not finish um, because you know got pregnant. And they're able to earn a lot of money right now, even if hindi sila nakatapos ng, ng college. And we even had students na hindi nakatapos ng high school, but they're still able to work online. 
Okay. Unlike sa corporate na trabaho na kailangan, di ba, yung iba kailangan college graduate. Kahit ano, kahit ano, um, sales lady um, or sales like cashier, kailangan college graduate. A lot of places require to be a college graduate. Na hindi naman kailangan yung, yung tatotoo lang, yung, yung education ng college, hindi naman kailangan para sa ganun trabaho, di ba? Unlike your accounting, di ba, kailangan talaga college graduate. Pero yung ibang trabaho, you don't need to be a college graduate. Pero, Sa, sa culture natin, it's required, right? It's required, and we and people look down. Ah, hindi ka na graduate ng college, ay ano ka, di ba? That's that's how that's how it's yung, yung culture natin. That's how they perceive college grad people who did not graduate from college. Pero when it comes to online work, it's okay. Magulat kayo na na mga um, US na employers, UK employers, Canadian clients, they are okay. Even if you're not finished high school or college, they don't care about it. What they care about is you can do the work right now. Okay? They don't even look for your mga credentials mo when it comes to school. They look for examples of your work. Let's say graphic designer, so tagagawa na mga mga you know, sa Photoshop, ang mga logo, ganun. What they look at is not your college degree, but yung mga samples mo. Yung mga sample work mo, yung mga nagawa mo sa Photoshop, sa Illustrator. That's what they care about, not your educational attainment. So yeah. Um, ano pa yung mga basic skills na kailangan? Yung skills, uh, we're gonna talk about the skills you need later. It's later on in the presentation. A, a couple of people have asked that. Um, but we're gonna talk about that later, okay? Um, in a few slides. I'm, I'm not sure which slide number na kalimutan ko, but it's later, okay? So, chill lang, relax lang, we'll get there. <laughs> Basic pa tayo. Um, sabi ni Carmela, pag undergrad like me, nakaka-discourage minsan kasi hinahanapan ka ng employer. Oo, pero if you work online, wala. They don't, they don't care. When you're, then you can put your, your credentials, pero when you're applying for, for work, clients will not even ask that question. If, if anong natapos mo, di ba? Which is what usually we ask sa culture natin. Sige, the next people think na is an obstacle is English proficiency. Nasa, ay, karabaw English lang alam ko, di ba? Nasa, tese, wala, akong, wala akong access katulad ng mga call center. Hindi naman kailangan perfect English. If you watch some of our interviews, um, if you go on this page, you look at the videos, if you go on our YouTube channel, you look at the videos of people who are successful, these are people who are earning a lot of money online, hindi naman perfect yung, yung iba perfect English, pero most of the people who succeed online, hindi naman perfect yung English nila. Hindi naman, hindi naman kailangan ng perfect English if you're going to do research, di ba? Research, research naman yung trabaho mo. You don't need perfect English. Or graphic graphics yung trabaho mo. Um, creating websites yung trabaho mo. Hindi man kailangan perfect yung English mo. Setting up Facebook pages. You don't need perfect English. Kung writer ka, sige, you need, you need good English, di ba? Kung writer ka. Pero, if hindi siya related sa trabaho mo, you don't need perfect English, okay? Even sa writer, you don't need perfect. You need really good English, pero hindi nang perfect, di ba? Pero for most of the work, even if karabaw English ka lang, um, you can still get hired. It's easier to get hired if you improve your English, of course, di ba? And like I said, di ba, if you're willing to learn, if you're willing to put in the effort, yun ang pinaka-importante. You can improve any skill, computer skill, English skill, and anything else. Um, next, we talked about this, diba? Tech, sab- sabihin nila, ah, hindi ako techie, hindi ako magaling sa computer. Actually, mga Pinoy, we are very good compared to a lot of the world when it comes to computers. Bakit? Um, our cell phones, we're always on Facebook, diba? We know how to do, most of us know how to search sa Google. Yung generation ngayon, and even people in their 30s, 40s, and sa 50s, they're becoming more proficient because of the cell phones. So, if sabihin mo, hindi ka techie, you're watching this right now, nakapag-comment ka, nakapag-Facebook ka, you already know some basics. Nakapag-Google search ka, you already know some basics when it comes to being techie. And you just need to enhance your skills. Okay. Sige. So, ano? Inom na akong tubig. Whew, nakapagod magsalita ng ganun, ganito katagal. Um, dating work namin. Um, sige, Karam, I'll answer your question later. Okay, towards the end. I'm, I'm taking note of the questions here. And if people are thumbsing up, 
here, a uh, Gloria, I'm just going to read this. Um, sabi ni Gloria, I am 65, but I started learning other skills since November 2020. Now an intern to practice what I learned. I am into copywriting and being VA. Whether I get a job or not, happy pa rin ako kasi I have learned something to do to keep my brain working. Oh. To find work will just be icing on the cake. Oh, thank you, Gloria. That That's wonderful to hear. And you can get hired. You're practicing. You're you're still learning right now. But like it all, see Gloria, she's 65. I know most of us right now, most of you guys and ako, um, 20s, 30s, 40s tayo, di ba? And we see Gloria here, 65, who's starting a new. Sa November pa lang siya nag-start. And then she's very passionate, di ba? She's, so she's an inspiration. Gloria, you're, you're being an inspiration to many people right now just by sharing your story. So thank you. Thank you. Um, and if you keep keep going, you will definitely get hired then. Um I'm reading those with lots of comments and uh, lots of hearts and thumbs up. You know, nakikita ko. Uh, sabi ni Lyman, hi Sir Jason, gusto ko po mag-enroll sa online class niyo. Tulad po ako ng iba na walang experience as VA. I really want to learn new things and I want to help myself po to improve my skills. So excited. Oh, I'm excited for you to join. Um, what a lot of people do, um, like in Lyman's case here, si Lyman Glade, um, she doesn't have experience pa, di ba? But what they do is like they enroll in a course um, like the VA Bootcamp, which is the course that we have to get more experience, to learn more about the skills that they need. So, okay, I'm looking at the ones now more than one. Ano, more than one. Oh, si Ange, without a diploma, hindi siya nga graduate basic skills. Kailangan. Uh, we're talking about the skills later. Uh, sige, sige. Those that, that have more than one thumbs up. Kasi daming comments, ko lahat. So those that get more like two or three thumbs up or hearts, I'm gonna read through those. The rest I can't say mobus and tayo ng oras. I know there are 400 people watching right now, so it's a lot of people. Sige. Okay. Uh, I think it's it's clear. It doesn't look like we have any questions that are related to Mandito. Clear ba? Clear? All good? Let me know if hindi. And we can move forward. Okay. Um, so, uh, ito pala. these do not matter as long as you can do the job, as long as you're willing to put in the effort, as long as you're willing to learn. Ito, age, gender, educational attainment, English proficiency, yung, yung pakateki mo, that doesn't matter. Because yung, yung willingness mo is more important. Right? Um, I know somebody who tried to work online. Ang, ang galing, ang bright, di ba? Ang, ang, and I thought na they would succeed. Pero, parang yung willingness wala eh. Wala siyang heart, wala siyang passion to keep going. Kasi it's, 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 it's a transition. It's not easy. It's really not easy because you have to transition, like I mentioned earlier. So, even if kahit ganong kakagaling, if you don't have the passion, if you don't have the right mindset, if you don't have the right attitude, then you will not succeed dito. You will not, not succeed when it comes to freelancing. Pero, even if you don't have the skills, even if you don't have the background, even if you don't have the education, pero you have the right attitude, you have the right mindset, that is when you can succeed when it comes to freelancing. Okay, so let's go over some frequently asked questions. Okay, so some of you guys were asking this earlier, um, and we're going to cover this right now. So we're going to talk about what tools are needed to start, who are the clients, and clients, and who are these clients, and the common tool, the common tasks that clients outsource to freelancers. So um, for those asking about the skills, ano pang skills kailangan, here we're gonna talk about it in the task section right now. So yeah, um, I thought I made two thumbs up. Sige, basahin ko, kasi may dalawang thumbs up na. I'm a teacher and professional, sabi ni Hilda. I'm a teacher and professional, but I want to have extra income. Thanks for this opportunity. I hope this will be beginning in a moment that I can become a VA. You're welcome. Oh, you're you're very welcome, Hilda. So yeah. Okay, so what tools do you need? Ano pong kailangan? I, I talked about this earlier, but we're, we're covering this right now. Anong kailangan para mag freelance? So, dalawa lang kailangan mo. Okay? Tools related. There are only two things. Number one is a computer. Okay? Desktop or laptop. And even if it's not your computer, if even if makikihiram ka, even if you rent a computer, which we might be looking para provide maybe partnering up with a computer rental company soon even if you just rent a computer or borrow a computer or walang internet cafe ngayon pero if if babalik yung mga yung mga internet cafe pwede din as long as you have access to a computer and number 2 is ano is internet diba? at least 2 mbps okay um i'd say grabe naman yung two, ngayon parang grabe na yung 2 mbps diba sobrang bagal na yun so 
But yun ang pinaka minimum for you to get started. Okay, yun ang pinaka minimum. Of course, it's better if you get at least 20. If you're getting an internet connection, at least 20 naman. Okay, pay for the one that's at least 20. Pero if you don't have access or naka cellphone ka lang, naka data ka lang, naka um, prepaid Wi-Fi ka lang, you can still do it even if naka 2 Mbps ka na connection. Okay. Um, most of the time, ito, we either have, most of the, the people, you know, you either have a computer or if you don't have your own computer, you have access to one. Okay. If you don't have a computer, you can start off sa mga older computers. I know like they sell computer sets uh, 5,000, ganun, 10,000. So you can get an older computer set muna and then upgrade later or rent a computer and then upgrade later once you get, once you start earning online. Pero if you can afford to get a computer, ito sabihin ko, if you can afford to get a computer and a good computer, then then go for it because it's it's very much worth it. Yung earnings mo that will come from the computer will be a lot higher. Wag, wag mong tipirin yung computer if you have the budget for it. Kasi yun yung tool mo. Yun yung tool mo to earn more money. Okay? So don't, if you if you can afford it, get a better computer. Okay, same din sa internet. If kaya mong mag, mag 20 Mbps, eh, don't go for 5 Mbps. Okay? If kaya mo, di ba? Pero if you're having a hard time, it's understandable na you go for the cheaper things muna. Sige. Um, let me look at the comments here. Uh, if you have any questions about computers, this is the right time to ask them. Um, mga specs, ganun. Pero yun ang rules ko usually, okay? If you can afford it, get it. If you can't afford right now, use what you have. Kahit yung mga older computers use, as long as you can connect to the internet, if you can go on Facebook, if you can open Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, okay na yun. Okay? Okay na yun. It's not the best, mabagal siya, pero pwede. Okay? And once you can upgrade, once you get hired, once you can afford to get a better computer, then go for it. Okay. Um, ito si Alpha, three, comment, three, three likes na to. Currently working in BPO, but planning to go back home sa probinsya. And plano ko bang mag-freelance. That's why I joined this group. Oh, thank you. Hope to learn from all of you. Um, ay, to get started. Yung free, oh, free course. Yung free course, guys. It got, so you can read it. Oh, thank you for pinning that. That's a good one. And links. Yung, oh, computer buy. Oh, we have a, we have a computer buying guide. Thank you. Um, thank you, Jeline, for posting that. We do have a computer buying guide, um, so you can check that um, if we can't go to your question. Pero those are the rules when it comes to computer. Even, like I said, yung, yung pinaka basic, whatever you have access to, and even if you have a smartphone, kahit mura na smartphone, um, most of us have internet on our phones. Okay, We have internet on our phones, and may mga plans that are very cheap um, for Globe, 70 pesos a week. I was I was able to, to use a... Um, Gots Combo DD70. That, ngayon parang they changed it. Um, and I changed right now to Gomo PH because actually yung internet yung mas maganda. Uh, and, and hindi siya expiring. So, on a budget of 300 pesos a month, you can get access to internet. Okay? You can have it on your cell phone and just connect your computer with that. So, 300 pesos. Okay? Yun. Um, Bodet, if you can upgrade, yung yung mahirap sa yo yung sa computer mo is yung 2 gigabyte ram okay that's that's very low um, recommended ngayon is 8 minimum right now is 4 so kaya pa rin, pero you're going to have hard time if kaya mo mag upgrade kahit yung ram lang if you can just replace the ram if you're just if you have a desktop you can replace the ram it's easy to replace the ram or you can call, can can ask somebody to replace the ram bayaran mo lang that's good yun ang unahin mo okay um, other, otherwise, sige, yun ang, just use that muna, and that's fine. Stock PC, i5, um, 4 gigabytes RAM. It's okay, parin, it's okay, yung 4 gigabytes RAM. If you can afford to go 8 gigabytes, even better. Pero, you can still use it, what you have right now. Okay. Um, jet, enroll ng enroll, mahal yan. Oh, di mo naman kailangan mag-enroll, kaya may free na lessons dito, di ba? Wala namang bayad tong, yung session na to. So you don't need to enroll. I know that you might think, ay, nagpabayad. Pero you're watching this right now for free. Wala namang bayad to. So you don't need to, we, we have a program that you can enroll in. Choice yun naman yun. Um, we're not forcing you to do it. Um, you can do it if you want to lang. Um, fourth gen po, 8 gigabyte RAM. Okay, that, that's kind of okay. Uh, what will slow you down is yung fourth gen. Pero that's fine for now. And like I said, once you can afford to upgrade, 
upgrade na. Because yun ang, that's how you're gonna earn money. It's through your computer. So, investment talaga yun. Usually, oh, usually 64, usually 4 gig RAM. Um, but if you can get an 8 gig RAM laptop, then that would be but better. 16 gig, that's even better, pa. Pero like for most people, 8 gigs okay na. Sige, okay. Um, moving forward. Sige. Second question is who are my clients? Sige. So who are the people who are paying you money? Who are the people who are going to be hiring you? What kind of people are these? Okay. Now let's go go to a story of Linda. Okay, so Linda, okay, may story storytelling muna tayo. Once upon a time, there was um, a business owner named Linda, named Linda, and may online store siya. Okay, ano anong binebenta ni Linda? Let me know in the comments. What do you want? What do you want Linda to be selling? Anong product niya? Sige, interactive yung story natin. So galang sa inyo yung ano yung product niya. Anong product ni Linda? Pili kayo. Well, I'm going over the comments here. Um, anong internet gamit nyo? Um, at home, I'm using 50 Mbps na PLDT. Um, and then on my phone, I'm using Gomo. It's the, like a new network right now, Gomo PH, which I also use like when I go outside, um, when we work in cafes and so on. Gomo yung gamit. Um, plants. <laughs> plants. Uso ngayon yung mga plants, di ba? Um, clothes, clothing line, makeup, gadgets. I think I like plants, di ba? Plants, sige. Kasi uso ngayon yung mga ano, or PPE, ano, basic essentials. Sige. Um, sige, sabihin natin, dalawa yung products niya, plants tsaka PPE. Sige, yun, yun ang online store, yung, ang, ang weird, no? may plants, tapos may face mask. Sige, may mga succulents, tapos may face mask. Yun ang, yun ang online store niya. Sige, now, Linda, you know, she has an online store, and then, you know, she, right now, di ba, she's, siya namang isa. Siya namang isa. And, it's manageable, diba? At first, it's manageable, let's say, dati, hindi, hindi pa booming yung PPE, diba? Mga 2019, eh, konti lang yung mga orders ng PPE niya, yung mga face mask niya. Na yung face mask niya, may design kasi na plants. Kaya related siya. May plants siya, and, and yung mga face mask niya na may leaf, ganun, oh, diba? Pwede. Related naman yung dalawa. So, at first, you know, she, she was able, she had one inquiry, okay, may isang inquiry, reply siya sa Facebook page niya, sa emails niya, people who are inquiring, people who are ordering, people who have questions, anong mga design ng mga face mask mo, anong iba, you know, how do I take care of my plants? And then she's very happy to answer them, right? And it's fine, pero nag-pandemic, di ba? Nag-pandemic. So, what happens, what happened, is that, and uso pa yung plants. So, yung mga, ano, yung mga plant lovers, ang dami mga plant lovers, yung mga plantita, di ba? Yung mga plantita, what they did, is they found her Facebook page. Di ba? Nag, Nag-boom. Naging viral yung mga face mask niya. It grew popular, and she couldn't reply na to the Facebook messages. Kasi ang dami nag-message. Ang dami gusto mag-order. Di ba? And she, she tried to reply. Di ba? Pero, ang hirap. Ang dami mga questions. Ang dami mga inquiries. And for those that have online stores, um, you can re- relate to this, di ba? May plants. Oh, may plant kasi sa, ano, sa, sa face mask. Oh, so she got so many inquiries, di niya kaya. She can't reply to all of them. And nakaka-stress pa, di ba? Like, she, she answers questions, and yung iba yung mga nagreklamo pa kasi ang, ang tagal mag-reply. So nagalit yung ibang customer, ayan lang order So, di ba? It's very stressful. It's very time-consuming. Right? So this, this person, Linda, this is a typical client. This is a typical client. And Linda right now, she's struggling because on daming mga inquiries, she need, now needs a VA to help her. She needs a virtual assistant who will help respond to the messages. Because she's doing, she's, she's designing pa her, her face masks. She's making sure na okay yung mga plants niya. And if she's replying to messages all the time, wala na siyang oras, di ba? Wala na siyang oras to make her face masks, to, to, to plant her plants, di ba? So what she needs is a virtual assistant. And that's this guy over here. That's this guy over here. That is you, actually. This is you. And we might think that this is a weird scenario na, um, you know, there's, there's a, you know, plantitas and, and may PPE. Pero actually, this is a very common, this is a very common scenario. Not the exact products, pero we see a lot of business owners who start out, they start selling online, ganun, especially sa US, di ba? Yung mga online sellers natin, um, we don't earn a lot of money. I know a lot of online sellers. Okay naman, may earnings sila. Um, yung mga small time, makaka-earn sila ng 30, 50,000, pero not enough na mag-hire pa ng tao. Okay. Pero sa US, sa US, 
they earn more. Kasi naka-dollar sila diba, when they earn. So even yung mga smaller businesses, eh, ang daming mga small business. <coughs> Isipin mo, 300 million yung population ng US. So ang daming mga online sellers, ang daming mga businesses. And this is something that happens a lot. We see a lot of business owners who at first, they did it by themselves and later on, nag-struggle dahil sa mga inquiries, dahil sa mga, mga kailangan gawin. And that's when they hire VAs. That's when they hire you to help them with their tasks. Okay, so I hope that kind of clarifies like who are the kind of people who hire you? Who are the kind of people who are looking for help? It's people like Linda um, and and and, and um, other related business owners. So, okay. is that ano? Is that clear? Like who are your clients? Who are the kind of clients you have? Um, ano mga ano? Yung mga maraming do you assist the students after a course to look for a client? We have the hustle. Uh, somebody already replied to this, but yes, we we do have a coaching program. So after they take the course, there's a coaching program. Um, in the it's not in the cheapest program. It's in the second and third. Na um, we have a guiding program to to help to really help you, and we have coaches to help you out with that. So okay, good good to hear, Margie. Okay. Okay. So we had this question earlier, like what are the common tasks that clients outsource to freelancers? Ano mga skills na kailangan? Okay. And this is more for beginners. I know some of you might already be marketers or graphic designers and, and masyadong higher level, pero this is more for beginners. Okay. And I'm, I'm talking about the beginners and I know most of you are beginners here, right? So anong mga common needs na mga business owners? Yung common needs, number one is replying to chats or messages. Kaya niyo gawin yun, di ba? Kaya niyo mga reply, right? Um, they don't have the time to do it, yung business owners, because yeah, they're making their products. They're they're trying to do other things. That's why they hire you. Kaya niyo ba mag reply? Second, managing orders in sa online stores. Okay. Because orders come in and then they have to ito, what what a lot of VAs do is that they go on the store and they see ito yung mga orders and then they will give a summary to the business owner oh business owner ito yung mga orders na kailangan i, I fulfill uh, na kailangan ipapa ship okay and then they, the the business owner will like send them yung mga tracking numbers send sa VA yung VA na magpost sa order ito yung mga tracking number makipag coordinate sa 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 buyer na oh ito po yung tracking number nyo Dito nyo pa ba? So, it's the VA who, who does that, who manages the orders, manages the online stores. The business owner is very time consuming for the business owner. They're busy usually focusing on their product or focusing on their marketing. Next is creating logos or graphics. Okay, so if you magaling ka sa design, magaling ka sa Photoshop and so on, um, or sa Canva, then you can help create logos, help create graphics for different business owners. Next is writing social media or blog posts. Diba, ngayon, when it comes, it's it's very important for businesses to have a Facebook page, right? When we look at the business, usually, one of the first things you look at is yung Facebook page kasi gusto mo tingnan yung pictures, right? Gusto mo tingnan yung, parang yung, yung information dun. And if hindi updated yung Facebook, parang, ay, in business ba to? Are these people still in business? Parang wala na, wala na to, ah. or last year pa yung up, last update nila. So, yung mga business owners mismo, a lot of the times, they don't have the time not to do it. So, they hire you to do it. They hire you to to post their pictures. They'll send you like 50 pictures. Tapos, oh, post mo to every week or, or twice a week. Gawa ka ng post. Para lang updated. Diba? And, and para other people can see it. Or blog posts. Yung, ito para sa mga writers naman. On the blog site, on the website, you can have yung mga blog posts. Second, next is replying to emails. Very similar to replying to chats or to messages. Um, replying to emails din. Um, posting on Facebook, parang same lang to sa social media posts. And creating office documents. Um, sometimes people need, uh, for example, um, doing research. Okay, um, A client is going to ask, Okay, anong, I want to start selling face masks. Yung mga cloth face masks. So can you do research on anong materials needed? Ano yung process nito? And then what the VA will do, what the virtual assistant will do, is that they'll go on Google, they'll search anong mga materials needed, ano yung mga um, process, they'll put it into Microsoft Word and send it to the client and send it to the business owner. So yun, creating office documents, that's one example, or PowerPoint or Excel and so on. And, and so many other, um, there are so many other tasks then that the freelancers can do for business owners. But these are just some examples over here. These are just some examples. And 
Yun, people were asking earlier, ano pang mga skills? Wala pa akong mga skills. We're talking more about skills later again, but this is parang an introduction to the different things that you can do. Okay? Uh, and I'll ask you, kaya nyo magawin to? Or who can not do these things? So you can com post in the comments, yes, kaya mong gawin. Or no, you have additional questions. Sige, let me know in the comment section. Meanwhile, it's water break. I'll, I'll get some water kasi paubos na yung, yung tubig ko. Um, but yeah, put in the comment section. I'll just get some water. Huh? Give me like one minute. Yeah, in the comment section, if kaya yung gawin or hindi. <laughs> Paano ko off yung camera ko? Teka lang. Sige, off ko muna. Okay, ayun, um, and I'm back. Uh, ayun, kakayanin para sa pag-ibig. Kaya, need, kaya naman need, need to enhance skills. Uh, what your mind can perceive, your body can achieve. You can do it. Uh, kailangan ng enhancement. Oh, willing, willing to learn. Kailangan said ng hustle challenge. Oh, willing to do it. Oh, 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 oh. So, ito, you guys are willing to... It's great to see that you guys are willing to do it. You guys are willing to put in the effort. Right? And, 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 and even if you don't know how to do it, right? a lot of people are saying, yes, you can do it. But even for those that parang might not be able to do it, ito, you can, you're willing. That's, that's one of the most important things when it comes to ito, online freelancing. Tapos na water break natin. Um, also, don't forget to share this, guys. If you hit the share button, um, we'd really appreciate it. And once again, we want to share this information with a lot of people. We want to share this information with family, with friends, to introduce them to itong working online. All right. And um, we also highly recommend that you join Flip. Join Freelancers in the Philippines. This is the Facebook group that we have um, that is that we made to help people like you, to help people who are starting out with freelancing. So if you search for the Facebook group, Freelancers in the Philippines, um, you're going to find it. And please, please join if you're not already a member. Sino bang member dito ng Flip? Type in the comments if member, member kayo ng Flip. Okay, start off by joining ito. Well, we have the free VA course set here. We also have Flip, so you can join. All right, let, let's move on to part two. Okay, saan yung tubig ko? Okay, 
Let's move on to part two, discovering the skills that you can offer. All right, now let's talk about itong generalist and specialist. Ano ba mga generalist? Ano tong specialist na to? Uh, well, we have these two categories of freelancers when it comes to skills. We have yung mga generalist skills and yung mga specialist na skills. Now, the generalists, what the generalist is, it's for the general market or for a product or service. Okay? And specialized is specific. It's a specific kind. It's very specialized and very specific. That's, that's what a niche is. Not just specialist, but what a niche is. So when it comes to skills, when it comes to skills offered, what are the gen? We have some generalists and we have some specialist skills. So let's look at some of these generalist skills. So and these are taught in the VA bootcamp. We teach um, data entry. Okay. So ano ba yung data entry? Ano ibig sabihin ng data entry? Data entry is sometimes it's it's typing. Basically, that, that's what you mean when you're typing. And for example, you have handwritten notes. For example, ng, ng lawyer and doctor. And what they want to do is they want to put it into Microsoft Word. Okay. So your job, your job is to look at the handwritten notes and, and type it in Microsoft Word and save it and send it back to the client or business owner. Okay. Do you think that's something that you can do? Kaya ba gawin yun? Okay. Number two we have here is transcription. So transcription, what that means usually is that you're, let's say you're listening to a YouTube video okay, and then you're typing it. You're transcribing anong sinasabi nila sa YouTube video. Okay? You're typing it into like a Word document and then you're saving it. Especially sa mga podcast, sa mga seminar, that's important to capture the words that, that the speaker is saying. And that's what you do in transcription. Okay. Third is ito, email and calendar management. Okay. So replying to emails, making sure na yung mga yung schedules, you schedule something. Um, let, let's say your client wants to have a meeting with so and so, you you make sure that you coordinate and you make sure that the schedules match and so on. Next we have office applications. Office applications that's working with Microsoft Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint. And then we have internet research. Diba? Sabi ko kanya, Google, um, Wikipedia, doing research, uh, watching YouTube, uh, doing research on certain topics. This is covered in internet research. And next is social media and website management. So itong updating social media posts, uh, updating the information on websites, and an e-commerce store management, which I talked about earlier, yung mga managing orders and so on. And all of these, actually, if you enroll in the VA Bootcamp, you'll get the the lessons and the courses about um, all of these things over here now let's look at some specialists okay so generalists usually they have they know the basics of these different of these different skills that we listed over here okay know the basics of data entry know the basics of transcription they know the basics of office applications of email management of social media and so on and these are the expert done. Pero know the basics. When it comes to specialists, though, these are you focus on one thing most of the time. So the focus areas they can be focused on search engine optimization, okay? uh, on web design, on Facebook and Google ads, on email copywriting, on blog writing, on graphic design, on illustration, on programming, on bookkeeping, okay, and and so many different areas. But those are more of the specialist skills. Now they focus on one area and they offer it. Okay, so what, Ika, what what do you think in this list of skills over here? What are the skills that you think you can do? Na kaya mong gawin right now. Na wala kang di ka mag enroll, di ka mag, you don't have to learn anything new. Is there anything in this list na kaya mong gawin right now? on the generalist or the specialist side. Uh, bookkeeping. Oh, SEO. Galing ah. Is the rate the same? We'll, we'll talk about that actually in um, the next slide. <laughs> Data entry. Generalist um, data entry. Bookkeeping. All generalist lists and bookkeeping, data entry, data entry. Nice, nice. Okay, so someone's asking, 
anong mga rates? So how much do these charge? How much do these people charge? Yung mga specialists, yung mga experts in a specific area, or and mga generalists. So like sinabi natin kanina, specialists are master or expert of a specific trade, and generalists are more pa ang jack of all trades. So, ang dami lang alam pero hindi sila expert in a certain area. Now, see so for clients, usually um, yung mga specialists are better when it comes to specific jobs. Right? If you're a specialist when it comes to making websites, mas magaling ka kasi generalist. Right? Somebody who just knows yung basic information about making websites. And it's more expensive for the client. Um, generalist, the client, it's, it's cheaper for them. And it's okay din, pero hindi siya ganun kagaling. Diba? If, it, it depends on the needs ni client. If they need something very specific, that's when they usually get a generalist, uh, a specialist. But not really. That's when they get a generalist. So freelancer, naman, a specialist, it pays better. You earn more money usually when you're a specialist, um, because you're specialized, ka, diba? you're focused on a certain area, and it is harder to do also because you need to be more of an expert in a certain area. Yung generalist, naman, it pays less. It pays less, pero it's easier for you to get hired. It's easier for you to start. Kasi di mo kailangan ng, ng special skills. Di mo kailangan i-master yung specific skill. Okay. Um, I hope that answered some some questions. Bookkeeping, blog writing, data entry, all generalists and even specialists. Nice. Oh. Generalist sum. Um, oh, gan ganito yung parang yung when it comes to rates, when it comes to generalists and specialists. Hello, just reminding you once again to join um, our Facebook group because we have a lot of yeah we, we we you get a lot of questions answered. We have a lot of information in our freelancers in the Philippines Facebook group. So, okay, let's move on to part three. How to get your first job even without experience. Ito, ang daming gusto nito. How to get your first online job even if wala ka pang experience. We're talking about that right now. So, let's cover where do you get online jobs. Okay. So, first of all, you have the different freelancer platforms. And second, we have direct clients. These are the two areas usually where you get freelance jobs. So, what are the different freelance platforms? Anong ibig sabihin ng freelance platform? Freelance platforms are where clients or companies post jobs looking for freelancers okay so they 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 go to this to certain websites they go to certain platforms looking specifically for people to hire they're looking specifically um, to get people to complete some jobs and also the mga freelancers like like you and me mga freelancers this is where we post our profiles that we are looking for jobs Ito, mga clients, mga companies, this is where they say, okay, I'm looking for a freelancer. And this is also where freelancers post their profiles looking for jobs. So, an example here, yung mga sa freelance platforms, a client said, okay, I need something done. Okay, I need some research done. I need some transcription done. I need some data entry done. And then yung mga freelancers, or you, you know, they, you're looking for work. So, yung freelance platform is parang the bridge, parang matchmaker dito to connect the two together. Ito yung freelance platforms. So, yeah. Now, freelance platforms, there are different features of freelance platforms. Um, one, of course, is they help clients and freelancers find one another. Okay. Second is they help provide tools a lot of the times to help with jobs, with contracts. Most of the freelance platforms provide that help. Um, second, there's payment a third, there's payment protection in some of these freelance platforms like Upwork and FreeUp. May less of a chance to scam. Ka. There's some, there's some parang guarantee or insurance, but may limitations din yeah. There are some details on this, but there's payment protection with some of the platforms like Upwork and FreeUp. And with freelance platforms, they do matchmaking, they help you. You have payment protection, but they charge a certain fee. Din. And the client can pay a fee or the freelancer can pay a fee. And the fee depends. It can range from like 5% to 20% of the total earnings of the freelancer. Okay. Now, there are different freelance platforms. There are, so, there are actually hundreds of freelance platforms. Pero the most common freelance platforms are these 
over here. Okay, um, Upwork.com is the most common freelance platform. Um, Onlinejobs.ph is actually the second we've seen. And um, there's freeup.com, free with three E's, freeup.com. There's Hubstaff Talent. Um, there's freelancer.com. There's guru.com. There's Fiverr with two R's.com. So there are a lot of freelance platforms um, where, you can, where you can look for jobs. Mm. So how does it work? Ito yung process. Process when it comes to freelancing platforms is the client, they create a profile. They create, okay, ito yung company profile ko. And then the freelancer will also create a profile. This is, this is these are the services I offer. Um, ito yung background ko. The client then will post a job. They'll post a job online saying, okay, I'm looking for somebody to do, let's say, writing, to do writing for me. The freelancer, they look for jobs. They do a search. Absolutely jobs. Okay, I'm looking for writing jobs, and then they say, "Oh, ito yung, I know, it, uh, this is a nice job that I'm going to that I want to apply to." So the client, so the, the freelancer is going to apply for the job, and the client they review all the applications, they see who's applied for the job, they review all the cover letters, all the proposals, and then they start doing interviews. And they start doing interviews, and once they're done with interviews, they hire um, one or more applicants to the job. Um, is that clear so far with with the uh, with the freelance platforms? Is that clear? What questions do you have with regards to freelance platforms? Any questions when it comes to this? Okay, it's all clear. Yes, yes, clear. Sige, sige. Okay. None so far. No comments so far. Sige. Next is direct clients. Diba? We had two ways of getting clients. One is with freelance platforms. Second is direct clients. So how does it work when it comes to direct clients? Now with direct clients, um, what you do is, you know, like you 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 look for clients directly. You approach companies directly. And you say, I need work or I can do this for you. And then the clients say, okay, I, I need this done. And then you say, I, could, I can do it. So in when it comes to freelance platforms, you know, this is the difference here. When it comes to freelance platforms, um, a client will post online and then, then you're going to create a profile and apply for the job. When it comes to direct clients, you go directly to the client. You approach them directly. You email direct them directly. You send them a message directly offering your services. And then if you can, you know, you can, Say I need work. I need something done. Say, oh, yep, that's what I can do. And then the client goes and hires you. So that's how it works with direct clients. It's very parang basic um, example here, yeah. Pero that's the basic process when it comes to direct clients. With direct clients, where you're working with a company or a client without a third party. Without a third party, there's unlike with freelance platforms, there's a third party to help with the matchmaking, to help with payment production. Direct clients, wala. There are no special features and you don't pay any fees because there's no third party, no middleman. Um, when it comes to working with direct clients, though, it's riskier. It's riskier because you, there's, there's nobody to moderate, there's no middleman, but you can earn higher. Because there's no, there's little competition diba? when applying for a job. Um, there are no fees, so you can really earn higher. Um, when you work directly with a client. But for you guys, if for those of you watching right now, anong mas prefer nyo? Prefer nyo ba freelance platform or direct client? Anong mas prefer nyo? Let me know in the comments. What what do you prefer? And no need ng business permit um, to answer CA's question. Both. Savani <laughs> Kram, both. Direct client, prefer ni Jamie. Oh, Siri, direct client. Um, it can, it depends, Margie, video or chat. It depends on the client. Anong, anong preference niya? Prefer nyo direct, diba? Kasi mas malaki yung ano, mas malaki yung fees. 
um, platform din niya, Marilu platform, JSON Direct. Platform para secure payment. Oh, preference yung, for a lot of people, preferred yung direct, diba? Mas maganda yung direct client. Pero it usually is harder to work directly with a client. It's usually hard when you're first starting out. Huh? And when what we recommend is, yes, eventually maganda yung direct client. Pero when starting out, um, we do recommend na freelance platform muna. Sa mga, especially sa mga baguhan. So, yeah. Now, a lot of people think na it's very competitive when you're working online, diba? It's very competitive. Ang dami nang nag, nag, nag work online. Uso na ngayon yung mga work from home, yung mga freelance na yun. Hindi ko papasok kasi ang daming competition. Which is true. Uso ngayon and a lot of people are getting into it. Pero, also, at the same time, there are a lot of new businesses, lot, a lot of new online businesses that are starting. Okay. If you look on this graph over here, um, nasa 20, well, nasa 2021 na tayo. And this graph was made actually in 2018. This was a prediction of the growth in US billions. Ha? Billions. Um, one, 1 billion is like 50 billion pesos. Diba? So, itong in 20, the prediction was that every year it'll grow 10, 11, 12 percent. Pero by now, malin yung prediction na to because the growth is higher than 12 percent. As you can see, um, every year, yung dollar amount of pe of people that are putting money into buying products online grows higher and higher. And and what I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is that as as more businesses go online, as more people purchase online, that means more stores will open also, diba? As more stores open, just like yung example kanina ni Linda, Diba? More VAs are needed, right? More virtual assistants are needed. More freelancers are needed to create websites to help with uh, managing stores. And as the demand grows, for that's why we're seeing a lot of, I know, a lot of of people joining. Diba? The supply is also growing, but we're seeing that there's the 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 growth is high. It keeps on going higher and higher every year. So, even if a lot of people are joining right now, hindi maubusan yung mga trabaho, hindi maubusan yung mga online work because more businesses start every single day. Say, so, um, paano pag wala experience, wala pa portfolio? Um, wait, uh, let me just copy this and we'll answer this later. Okay. So, yeah. so ito, where can, how can you stand out? Okay, a lot of people ask, hey, ang daming mga apply for the same job, ang daming mga competition. So what you need to do is you need to stand out para ikaw yung manotice, di ba? Ikaw yung mga notice ni client, right? And there are different ways that you can stand out. There are different areas. You can stand out in the cover letters and in or the proposals that you send, okay? Yung mga application letters, kumbaga. Um, you can stand out in the profiles, in the profile that you make. You can stand out in the interviews, and you can stand out also in the actual job that you do for the clients. And we're going to cover these ones over here. And a, a lot of people, like we've seen some questions here. Paano kapag wala kang experience, um, pag first timer. If you're, you can still stand out. One way that you can stand out is over here. Okay? One way that you can stand out, and 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 you can still succeed even though wala kang experience, wala kang ipakita ng work is in these different areas. Cover letters, proposals, profiles, interviews, and in the actual job that you will be performing. Okay. So how do you make a profile? So let's cover let's cover the profile right now. So again, how do you make a profile that stands out? So here is an example of an Upwork profile. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this. For those of you that are not familiar with um, Upwork profiles, it's parang what the client will see. Parang Facebook profile, pero it's for, of course, finding freelancing work. And this is in the Upwork.com um, platform. So, yeah. so let's look at this. This is one of our students in the VA Bootcamp. Um, and this is their profile. They're a business writer, na programmer, hourly rate $50 an hour. They have 100% job successor. They're, they're a top-rated na freelancer. And then um, this is the summary here. Okay, we see 
we see a good summary and let's go over the different sections okay well we don't see the picture because i had to blur it out for privacy reasons pero in the profile what really makes you stand out is number one a good picture okay? a good picture in the sense na hindi lang yung, yung blurry na selfie diba? a lot of people oh but blurry na selfie okay na siya pang facebook pero when it comes to like an upwork and then new mga profiles where you're looking for work eh, you, you want something more professional right so um you can still use a cell phone camera yung mga newer cell phones ang ganda mga camera nila um and you want to have like a smile you want to yung good look mo um good lighting and semi professional wag naman yung just wo yung woke up like this wag naman i-post dito sa sa upwork profile mo this is on upwork.com um this uh, general asking this is on upwork.com so yun you want to take a professional photo Hindi naman kailangan studio, pwede yung cellphone, yung, yung mga magagandang cellphone. Um, and yun, you want to have professional and friendly at the same time. So, nakasmile ka, wag naman yung super serious, nakasmile ka, and with good lighting. Sige, number two on the profile. What can help the profile stand out? Number two is good writing. Good writing, okay? So, we have, like in the VA Bootcamp, we teach you how to how to write profiles and so on which we can't cover tonight but when you're writing your profile you want to have good grammar um spelling no mistakes in spelling no mistakes in grammar and um, let me just reply here I'm just replying to a message um no mistakes in grammar no mistakes in spelling and you want it written professionally and written well okay once again we do have a guide we do have guides in the va bootcamp on how you can write your profile but it has to have good writing next is have skills that clients need earlier we talked about you mga skills that clients are looking for so you those are the kind of skills you should have on your profile okay don't put um like for for example if yung skills mo is um alam mo mga skills na pang hindi mekaniko de ba mekaniko sa sa kotse de ba if you're really good at that but if hindi naman siya related sa trabaho mo unless you're applying sa mga car companies don't put it here don't put it in your profile you want to put yung mga skills na related to the jobs that you're applying for okay so have skills that clients need and have proof that you can do the work okay have some proof that you can do the work and some people were asking um how do you show proof in wala ka pang if wala ka pang work na gawa you can do sample work okay you can do sample work na even if you if it's not for an actual company you can make like parang dummy work okay and in, in the va bootcamp we have ways on how you can create mga sample work just what's important is that you can show the client now you know how to do the work even if you haven't done it for a company what i did before is i had like i had um websites gumawa ako ng fake website for a fake company and that's what i would show to clients okay um if you have previous jobs that are related um somebody asked this earlier if you have previous jobs even offline jobs that have related experience then you can also do that and put that as proof proof that you can do the work right um Wait, I'm gonna have to reply at this. Okay. Give me one moment here, guys. Give me like one minute.
Ayan, okay. And we are we are back. Sorry about that. Um, okay, let me go over the questions here. Wala, wala pang experience. Then, yun, that's when you can put yung sample work that I mentioned earlier. Okay. Uh, creating a portfolio. And we have we have a blog post about how you can create a portfolio even if wala ka pang experience. Um, so you can check that out also. So yeah, um, let's talk about cover letters now. We can't really give you a guide on how to create cover letters. Uh, we don't have enough time for that. But what I can tell you is mga common mistakes. Yung mga common mistakes. And these are the things that you should avoid when you're writing cover letters. Okay. Number one, the number one most common mistake is when you're reusing the same cover letters over and over again. Okay. Um, and clients can tell when you're using the same cover letters. You copy paste ka lang. You want to make it customized. So one example here, example um, is let's say Valentine's, diba? When it's Valentine's, and then there's this there's this 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 guy who's named Pedro, and Pedro he's saying hi to different girls sa Valentine. He's saying, ito, si, si Anna, si Krisa, si Mel, si Honey. He's sending the same message to, the, to, to different girls. And as you can see, copy-paste lang siya ng copy-paste. Diba, parang generic. Masyadong generic yung message niya. But, you know, we have this example here. Pero, in real life, like, Pedro, even though he's he's sending this message, some girls might notice, diba? Pero some girls might not kasi na in love, diba? Pero clients, in real life, they can tell. They can tell, ayun, generic ng message na to, ah. Na hindi siya original, hindi siya specific. So you'd want to make cover letters that are specific to the job that you're applying to. Okay, so that's the number one mistake. Don't reuse cover letters. Make cover letters that are specific. Um, that mention what kind of job you're applying to and how you can help for that specific job. You want them to, you want the clients to feel special. Unlike these girls, na hindi special, na generic lang yung message. Clients will feel the same way. Ay, generic lang to. Hindi ako special. Wag na lang, di ba? Sige. Number two is being overly formal. Okay. So what do we mean by being overly formal? Di ba? Like when you walk into um, a Jollibee sometimes, sir, ma'am, sir, I would be delighted to help you, sir, ma'am, sir. Oh, parang overly formal. Now, when it comes to clients, when you're working online, actually, you don't need to be formal at all. Hindi man pare, kumusta naman? Pero it's almost like that. It's almost like, hey, how are you doing? You know, parang ganun. Friendly, friendly and professional. Hindi naman, sir, yes, sir, I can do that, sir, no problem, sir. Wag naman ganun. Diba? We want it. Yung culture, yung culture kasi natin when it comes to working in an office is very formal. Diba? And when it comes to the Western culture, when it comes to US, UK, Canada, Australia, na culture, they're, very, they're much more relaxed. They're more of, hey, yes, how are you doing? Rather than, sir, well, sir, ma'am, sir, parang ganun. Okay. So being overly formal. Third is sharing your life story. I've seen cover letters like this wherein the applicant, the freelancer, shares yung mga information na hindi naman kailangan, hindi naman related. Okay. Hindi naman siya related sa, sa, sa trabaho. Like, hi, my name is Marta. I graduated with a degree in BS Mathematics from the University of Cebu. Uh, please hire me, sir. I'm pregnant and my boyfriend left me. I really need the money. Last month, my mother got sick and I had to buy her medicines. Eh, ang daming information na hindi naman related sa trabaho. Tapos, yung in na trabaho is, um, let's say, you know, graphic designer, Photoshop. Di ba? Um, so, and then, ito yung, ito yung application letter. Parang ang layo, di ba? It's not related na at all. Now, only, you only want to share what is important. Okay? You, you'd only want to write in your cover letters what's important what's relevant to the clients. Okay? Not things that are not relevant. Even, even yung like graduated from a degree, kaya nga sabi natin, di ba, we're too focused on yung mga degrees natin. Um, even itong BS Mathematics, if you're applying for a job na hindi related sa mathematics, wag mo nang sabihin yun. Don't even bring it up. Kasi yung client is, napakialam ko, BS Mathematics na gusto ko lang may logo. Okay? So, don't, sh don't share your life story is what I'm trying to say. Just stick to what's relevant. Okay. Um, now, I know some of you have written cover letters already. 
I know some of you have already applied to work. Some of you have already gotten hired. Some of you have not gotten hired. But for those of you that are here, for those of you that have written cover letters, which of these are you guilty of? Reusing the same cover letters over and over again? Being overly formal? Sharing your life story? Which one of these are you guilty of, guys? Sige, sige. Ano? Sino mang guilty dito? One, two, three. <laughs> so one, two, and three. Oh, parang auto autobiography ng sinend. Because that's how a lot we're trained sometimes in school. Na parang ang daming ano, ang daming words. Cover letters make or break. What power use words is useful? Well, naman sa power words kasi, Margie. Um, it's more of being authentic, being relevant, and proving that you can do the job. Being over your copy paste, <laughs> you mga guilty. Oh, being overly formal, reusing. Dati ako over formal, uh, pero you learn na, di ba Maria? Reusing cover letters. Oh, you mga. And we've done these things before. Before we've learned. Pero okay, nasana sa corporate world eh. Kaya nga ganun. Kaya nga we're doing these things. Pero it's yeah, may adjustment when it comes to working online. And it, it's good that you're here, especially for those that are guilty some of making these mistakes. And if you haven't written yet, at least alam mo na what to avoid. These are the things that you should avoid. Overly formal, reusing cover letters, too wordy. Oh, yung yun din. It's not here. It, it's also a mistake, but it's not as common. Pero being too wordy, kasi pa impress tayo, de ba? Yun ang usual sa atin. Oh, ang haba ng mga sentence. Stick to what's relevant. Eto, don't share too much information don't put too much information yung importante lang sa trabaho okay um so how are you guys doing so far we're we are two hours in ayun we're almost done Whew. Ang haba ng three hours this is the first time in doing a three hour presentation we're two hours into our presentation um so how are you guys okay pa kayo gising pa kayo are you guys doing well have you been taking notes have you guys been taking notes? Gising pa, gising pa kayo? <laughs> Are you still learning? Okay pa? Naka record si Noel. Taking notes, good to hear. Oh, sa corporate, parang formal, pagalang-galang yun. Pa-impress kasi dito hindi eh. So online, be authentic, natural lang. Why do we communicate who's watching? Oh, nag- <laughs> your kids also learning, taking notes and screenshots. Nice, nice, great to hear. Okay, um, we have a commercial break muna now that we're two thirds done. So we have um, yung VA bootcamp. We have the VA bootcamp courses. We have different different packages in the VA bootcamp. Um, if you go on, I can't share it here without talking ano. Well, we have three packages in the VA Bootcamp. Um, baliktad to. We have the Skills Package. First of all, we have the VA Bootcamp Skills Package, which starts, you can start at a, a monthly fee, sorry, um, an installment of 1990 Okay, you can start an installment of 1990 and it's 3990 for the for the whole thing. Um, we have our accelerated package as well. This is the one that has the coaching program. Um, it, it has the guidance program. And for most people, we recommend that you start with the accelerated package. You can start with installments of 2990 or you if you want to pay for the whole thing it's 7990 okay that's the accelerated package and we also have the VA bootcamp complete package this is 19990 um so if it, this is like all our courses lot of our course we have so many different courses um and if you really want to get all these courses and what you want everything that's when you get the complete package but for most people what we recommend is getting the accelerated package because this is um, number one, it's the cheapest package that you can get that has the hustle challenge, yung coaching program namin na we, you have coaches to give you feedback and to help you get hired. Okay, so that's one of the reasons why this is really what we recommend, new accelerated package. And it's not, I know it's an investment, 
diba? It's an investment. Um, but it's also something na, like if you apply, and, and I won't say na, sige, automatic mahi-hire ka, if you enroll. Because if you don't, diba, take action. Sabi, na, sabi nyo kanina, you are willing to take action. Right? So if you enroll and you don't take action, eh, hindi talaga kayo may hire Pero if you take action, we've the students that have some have struggled, de ba? Pero eventually they got hired and sabihin nila, sabihin nila na, you know, nagstruggle ako, pero worth it talaga lahat. Worth it yung benefits that I can t- stay with my kids. Yung iba like we have some students na six months, six months hindi na hire. Okay, uh, that's that's an extreme case. Huh? Most can get hired within one or two months or three months. Yung iba abot ng longer than that. Pero may isang student I remember na hirapan talaga siya. Um, but after six months, she was able to earn thirty thousand a month now and more pa in the coming months. Thirty thousand tapos na part time lang. She's very happy, able to take care of her kids. And sab sinabi niya na you know the struggle ako at first. It was really hard to keep motivating herself, and she had a hard time because she had a baby pa. She had a newborn baby. Um, but eventually, yun she was able to do it. She was able to succeed. And she re- she has the benefit. She's re- really able to see the benefits. Okay, taking notes and screenshots. Nine-year-olds interested in being a freelancer. Na convinced din yung nine-year-old mo. Uh, informative discussion. Great to hear. Invest in your knowledge. Oh, oh. yeah. You can check out our ano, our courses. Thank you for giving the links, guys. Um, over there, and, and and who are students over here? Who are students of the VA bootcamp? Raise your hand if you're a VA bootcamp student. Sabi nyo Jonah, I got three full-time clients right after uh, right after enrolling. Ayos ha. Paano naging tatlong full-time 24 hours ka nang gising? <laughs> hirap yun. Or ano, six hours. Ganun. Hirap, hirap pa rin kahit three, kahit six hours. Uh, ano pong gamit headset yung headset uh, this is an aftershocks headset it's that's the brand aftershocks opencom student oh dami mga students oh thank you guys thank you for your support uh, students oh great yeah so um, we have a lot of students here as you can see um, and and successful yung iba naghanap pa rin ng trabaho pero we we see a lot of success because of what they've learned and of course what they apply diba uh, if you just learn that was walang application, eh, you won't get hired talaga. But if you apply what you learn and keep going at it, keep doing it, then that's when you'll see success. So thank you guys. Uh, we have a lot of students over here, but in three flexi time clients. So my mom is watching with me. She's 67. She wants to join freelancing. Oh, pwede rin, yeah. uh, 67 year old. It's, it's okay. We've seen mga people in their 60s who are joining freelancing, who are starting, and um. Like kanina yung na share na, it's just keeping active din, diba? It's interesting. It keeps it keeps you active. It keeps your your mind active, especially. It's okay. Um. Now, what we can say with the VA bootcamp, if you're interested in it, it once again, hindi to pilitan, okay? If you don't if you don't have the budget or you don't want to enroll, it's totally fine. Pero if you do enroll, you won't regret it. Is what I can say is you won't regret it because you have step by step guidance, um, compared to other courses out there. Um, baka bias ako pero Para sa akin, this this is really the best course that will help you get started. May bang courses jan who are that teach you um, more complex skills, okay? Pero yung VA bootcamp talaga. The feedback we get is that if you're starting out, this is really the best. If you've already experienced, baka there are other courses for you. But for those that are starting out, or parang st- they started pero they're still nahirapan pa. Um, that's when the VA, the VA bootcamp is really the best course for that. Okay. Um, so yeah, just just wanting to let you guys know if you want to go through with that. Also, we do have some free courses. Um, if you go to this website, vabootcamp.ph/freecourses, we have a list of all our free courses. So aside from our paid courses, namin, um, we have free courses, free courses in these different areas: virtual assistants, SEO, social media, e-commerce, intro to next level freelancing. Email marketing, um, English, bookkeeping, web design, writing, and wala pa dito, uh, the may lead generation na dito. So these are all our free courses. We have so many free courses. Number one, because we know not, not everyone can afford. And we still want to help them out. Okay. Best investment. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Siri. Rosalyn. 
um, it's my fault because hindi ako nang take action, ni motivated ng daming challenge. It's okay. I know that like a lot of people, they have challenges, di ba? Yung hindi predictable yung life natin, di ba? So even if you enrolled years ago, um, it, one thing that's good pala with a VA bootcamp is it's lifetime access. So even if you enrolled today, tapos you know there are challenges. You're not able to to really watch the lessons. You're not able to apply for jobs. But mong balikan in the future. So it's it's totally fine. We understand that people that things happen. Diba? Things happen in life. Yes, na ako din po ba ng client kahit hindi po nag-enroll? Oh, um, you don't have the guidance, diba? Wala kang step-by-step guidance, pero you can still get a client. Okay? You can still you can watch all our free courses. Actually, you can read our blog posts. You can watch yung mga YouTube videos, and you can still get hired. Wala lang yung guidance, okay? And and um, a lot of people find it very valuable yung guidance na yun. Um, but some people are still able to get hired na without that guidance. So it's 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 okay if you don't enroll and you can still if you can't afford it if you don't want to enroll if you don't want to pay money you can still succeed with freelancing it's totally fine uh pag may work yes pwede mag enroll pag may work to answer Daniel's question um Eileen yes um Eileen enrolled before um and wants to get back yes just send us an email if you have problems logging in of course um then we'll help you out Nag-enroll ako bago mag-ESL. Naguluhan ako ng goal ko. Oh, time to take action. Nice. Yan, you know. And yun, we see people we see people who are commenting. They enrolled before and then they just want to go back to it. And that's okay. Because, yun, makulo yung buhay, di ba? We can never see, tell what happened. So, you might not have the time right now. Or something might come up. May mga unfortunate events. Pero you can always go back. Okay. Um... We have yung mga, ano, yung mga moderators natin to answer the other questions. Um, we won't spend too much time on this, but just letting you guys know that this is there. All right, let's move on to our next topic. May part four pa tayo, and this is handling client interviews. Interviews. Takot ba kayo ng mga interview? We asked our students, um, we asked our students before, like, what's the number one thing that you're afraid of? Um, what's the number one thing that's holding you back when it comes to to succeeding and then ang daming ano ang daming responses na takot sila sa interview so is this you ba is this you are you this one who's scared of an of going through interviews uh, um we even had students na parang they got they got responses um sabi okay let's go for an interview tapos hindi nag ano hindi nag show up nag no show sa interview um now some interviews are chat but a lot, most of the interviews are going to be either audio or video. Okay. Now, you won't be an expert at interviews. Diba? Sabi natin kanina, one of the biggest problems is confidence, diba? One of the biggest uh, problems in freelancer, in, in, in our culture, is wala tayong confidence. Pero, what we, can, what we can do is we can practice. And there are certain, you won't get it right away, but eventually you will. And we have some tips over here to help you out. Uh, I just, I'm just going to share a... Lang. I'm going to share something with you um, real quick. Hanapin ko lang. Teka lang, ah. I'm going to share with you an interview. Okay. And then, um, one moment. Mi audio ba to? I hope, I'm not sure if the audio is going to come out. But I will see. Okay. Um, so I'm going to share.
Sorry guys, wala pa lang audio yung kanina. Um, teka lang ha. I need to... Here. Sorry for the tech issue guys. Ito, ito. I'll just use my mic here to do this so that you guys can hear it. Tangalin ko muna. Good morning, uh, Madam Ji. I am Vijendra Dullar from Panchkula, Haryana. Uh, we are land family Jimidar and uh, all land gone now. Mother gone, father gone. I am looking for job. I, I am completing B from IGNO, civilian engineering. Or Madam Ji, my OB, uh, watching only movies and uh, workouting in gym. Uh, so why do you think you're suited for the position of site inspector? Uh, Madam Ji, uh, I'm, uh, I'm old construction. Construction come nature to me. Uh, negotiation, selling, buying land, I can do very well. And Madam Ji, I have deep knowledge, Madam Ji, deep. And Sorry. if you keep Vijendar with you, you are finished, madam. So what do you think are your strengths? Uh, uh, madam ji, there is one saying in Haryana. Desha mein desh Haryana, jit dood dahi ka khana, madam ji. So madam ji, most of the time I lift up all the weight in gym, madam ji. I meant to ask about your professional qualities. Uh, uh, madam ji, I am professional. But uh, construction is for men. As you can see, no one can mess with me and take me right away. And I don't let them get away. Women cannot do that. Okay. Um, so that's our short film showing of an example. Now that's not, I know. Uh, so the saying here, we're not, we're not here to make fun of anyone all right um but more of learning right? of course it's 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 funny but but more of we're here more to learn right? Anong yung kanina? yeah yeah no audio which we the best young feeling na interview that was hired definitely confident um definitely confident but if you guys noticed about the beginning, nag share siya ng story niya, oh, my family, ganito, ganyan, oh, oh. Um, my hobbies are I watch videos and I go to the gym, oh, yung strength, yung strength niya sa gym, diba? So it's, it's something funny, but I want us to learn from it also, right? I want us to learn from it. Na, diba, sa confidence, kita natin, oh, parang okay siya sa confidence. So it, Two things, two things I want to point out from that. Number one, confidence is important. Confidence is very important. But number two, um, yun, you don't well, three things pala. Number two, don't you don't want to share things that are not relevant to the work. On site inspector, pero yung pag gym niya, yung family story niya, hindi naman parang yung interviewer, anong pa alam ko niyan, diba? Why should I care? Yeah. So, uh, daming sabi confident. Oh, oh. <laughs> daming gusto sa confident. Daming ano, impress sa confidence niya. Pero there's a lot um, of things that hindi naman, hindi naman related sa trabaho. Right? And it's funny that, that we watch that. Um, but if we look at our own interviews, ako, I look at back at my own interviews, I can say, parang guilty din ako. Like, for me, it's funny, but kasi guilty din ako nito. Na I've also shared too much information. Cause I didn't know this. Inf I didn't know that this is, is is not what you should should do. The interview. Hindi ako ka, ka, ka confident niya. Pero like sharing too much information, sharing things that are not relevant, right? Um, yung accent. Well, Indian naman yung ano inaplayan niya, and, and um, it's it's fine sa kanila, de ba? Of course, dito yung mga Pinoy masadong masadong ano critical sa mga ganun. Oh, not relevant to work interview. Worse po yung mental block. <laughs> Baka na mental block din siya, di ba? Na, parang, oh, anong sabihin ko? Tapos, yun, parang like, life, life sharing. So, 
um, we're going to go over some things, go over some pointers so that you don't end up in the same position and you don't, you know, you have a mental block and you'll have things to share, not disclose too much info na related to the job. Baka po, kinakabahan, no, di ba? So, how do we not end up in that situation? Na sharing so much interview, di ba? Some, some of us, when kinakabahan, parang we talk too much. So, baka siya din, right? So, you know, how do we not end up in that situation? So, how do you prepare for interviews? There are different things that we prepare. We prepare, number one, technology. Number two, environment. Number three, skills. And then we have four, English. And five, mindset and behavior. Okay. So, we're going to go over each one of these in detail. But overall, these are the five things that we're focusing on when you're preparing for interviews. So, first of all, technology. Okay. Now, technology is important. We, we talked about tech. We talked about tools. But also with interviews, not only because, of course, yes, you need the computer and so on, but your first impression is important. And if your first impression is, ay parang laging na disconnect, ganun, mahirap yun, mahirap i-fix yung first impression. So you want to have a good first impression. You want to have a computer or minsan yung iba cell phone lang, pero computer is more professional, that doesn't slow down, that doesn't lag. Um, internet, you want to have backup internet then in case down yung connection. Iba big lang sometimes sa atin, big lang mag down yung connection. So you also want to have backup internet. You want to have a webcam. Eh, yung iba, webcam, um, not good quality. Yung mga laptop webcam sometimes are not the best quality, but they're okay. What's more important is that you have actually a non distracting background. And then, Good lighting. I skipped headset. I'll go back to that. Non-distracting background and good lighting. Okay. So, hindi ka against the light, right? Hindi naman, di ba sa ano? Parang sa TV patrol yung yung against the light. Tapos nakasilhuet lang, nakaitim lang. So para hindi kita yung mukha. Um, that's not the impression you want to give, right? Yung yung secret na interviewer. You want to have a professional um, impression. So good good lighting. So light on your face, not behind you as much as possible and a non-distracting background okay so not at the beach or something pero yung wall lang is okay or curtain sometimes is okay uh yung yung iba na ba may sa window um as long as it's not against the light and you have like a light source in front of you that's better and if it's a window tapos street you might and minsan di ba may dumadaan ganun so you might want to put a curtain then just to cover it so yeah Good brand of webcam, Logitech. Di ba ako manghilig mag-share to the point na nad lang sagot. Okay. Um, sige. When it comes to the cameras, you want to find the right camera angle when it comes to your webcam. Right? So, some we got this from, um, we have a link over here to where we got this link. But you're, what you should not be doing is looking down. Okay? As You don't want to look down. It's a bad angle. Parang kita yung mga kung may laman yung buho, yung yung ilong mo, di ba? If there's something there, kita siya sa sa sa, sa angle na yun. Um, it puts the light behind you. It puts you against the light sometimes, and it just looks weird. Um, eye level as much as possible. That's what that's the, the angle that you want. It's ito what I'm doing right now is eye level. It's more conversational na look, and it it's more professional. Okay. Um, and not din sa taas, taas, it's not that professional. Yung, yung eye level talaga is the best. Second is the environment. Okay, The environment, and I won't um, play these sounds over here. Or, or teka na, I think I can play the sounds. Tanggalin ko yung, ano, yung mic ko dito. See what what are those sounds? And why are we playing those sounds? Oh rooster, deba. What's what's the other sound?
familiar yung mga sound na yun. Parang daming tumatawa. <laughs> mga kapitbahay, yung chicken, dog barking. And that's very common sa atin, di ba? Na those are the background noises. Um, and um, Pero, when it comes to clients, like in the US, in the UK, um, they hear a chicken. Parang, ano, nasa farm ka ba? Ganun. Ganun yung impression. Um, so, you know, you, you'd want to... In, sometimes, for some people, it's, it's impossible to really be silent. Pero, you want to minimize your noises. Diba? Minimize the background noise. Okay? Minimize interruptions. So if you're having an interview, you want to tell your family na, you know, you're going to have an interview, don't interrupt. You know, if you have kids, you know, you, if you have someone else to take care of the kids muna, your wife or husband to take care of the kids muna while you're in the interview para, you know, they won't be disturbing you. Diba? Like like that CNN interview, wala pala kong link nun. we should add that. Na <laughs> yung, yung mga bata pumasok habang ano, habang nag-report sa news. Um and minimal visual noise okay visual noise meaning yung yung distracting things that are happening okay so yung mga, the cats fighting in the background ganun, um, that's something you don't want to have um, in your environment how to minimize background noise good question if you can be in an area like if in your house if, if there's an area na yung noise is less it, it's it's not as loud then you'd want to do an interview there um, also, if you use a headset that has a mic, that actually takes out a lot of the noise because directional yung sound niya. Okay. It gets it from one direction. So those are like the tips that I can give you. Um, usually, the noise canceling mic is uh, mahal. You're looking sa mga 3,000 patas when you're getting noise canceling mics. This is actually a very expensive headset that I have, but I but I like it. Um, but when you're looking at noise canceling mics, three thousand pataas yung budget mo. Um, but even if you just have a headset with a mic, na yung mura, yung, yung mga five hundred and so on, that's better than hindi direct, hindi ano, hindi microphone. Malapit sa kalsada, daming maingay. Sa amin sir nagaaway na kapit bahay. No, oh, yun mas lalat, malalat talaga. And you can't time it, di ba? At least yung yung ano, yung mga rooster, di ba? Uh, mata timing mo at a little bit pero yung mga kapit bahay nag aaway yung yun ang mahirap yung kapit yung katabi nyo sa bunga sa katabi nyo oh yun <laughs> punta ka lang sa ano sa sa Starbucks kung sa bunga yung katabi nyo <laughs> anong crisp I don't know what that is no that's by video okay nako surprise interview no naman sometimes clients will say are you free right now kasi yun ang, that's the time they're online pero you can say no i'm not free can you schedule later diba? but if you're free at that time na they say hey are you free right now that's even better um and you have more chances of getting hired kasi parang nagmamadali si client sometimes how long does the average interview last um mga like 10 15 minutes i'd say or mga more on the 15 minute side Ah, okay. Noise cancellation app like Chris. That's, thank you. I didn't even know that. Um, Logitech headsets are good. Na hindi masyadong mahal. Um, yung 500 headset na yung mga China na ganun, yung may mic is uh, it's better than no mic. But if you can afford better ones like 2,000, 3,000 above, then go for that. Okay. okay. Um, headset headsets always better than no headset. That's what I'm. That's one thing you keep in mind. Okay. Environment then is lighting, okay? So you don't want to be hindi naman horror, diba? You don't want to convey na nakakatakot naman tong ano na to, freelancer na to. Um ito yung if if the light's coming from the bottom. <laughs> ganito yung ano, ganito yung itsura. Um light should be in front of you as much as possible, not directly above na ano, not directly ab- below and not behind then. Okay? So it should be in front of you. So if you have a lamp, if you have a light source, you want it in front of you. Um, if it's during the daytime, if you have natural light, that's even better. Okay. Take lang. CR muna ako. Ah. Give me, give me one moment. Mang CR muna ako.
Okay, um, I'm back. Sorry, just had to use the CR sandali. Natako <laughs> tukapikla. Or may ano? May monster. <laughs> Kakanta ng Bohemian Rhapsody. I'll give you the ano, the instructions for the certificate later. All right. Um, so yeah. Now, when it comes to the skills, when it comes to to the skills, we, we talked about the skills earlier, right? Um, in part one, we talked about how you can be a freelancer even if you're new to the online world, as long as you're able to do the job listed, right? And the important thing, when it, especially in interview, is that you can communicate. Na kaya yung sabihin sa client that you have the skills, that you can communicate this. In your number one, in your cover letters, which we which we kind of talked about, Kanina, and then um, in the interview. Okay, so like in the interview we watched earlier, di ba ang daming hindi related, ganon hindi man related sa trabaho. So when you're applying to work, you want to make sure yung mga experiences mo, yung mga competencies mo na related sa trabaho, yung past experience mo, yung yung skills mo, you're able to communicate that, and that's what you can practice. Yeah. That's what you can practice. Like we, we recommend, I think it's here in the slides, we recommend that you practice. That's like the only way that you can improve your interview skills is practice lang. So practice on your own. Practice like in front of a mirror or practice with your partner or practice with somebody else. Now you're able to answer the common questions. You can Google your more common questions. And you're also able to communicate to the client that you have the skills to do the job that you're applying to. Are ring lights okay? Um, yeah, okay, naman. A any kind of light is okay as long as it's towards, it's, it's, in, it's in front of you. Yes, may certificate. <laughs> okay. Now, English. Okay. How about English when it comes to interviews? Now, we said you don't need perfect English. You know, me no speak English. You don't need perfect English, right? Yeah. Not really, but as long as you can read and understand instructions, as long as you can execute the instructions, meaning kaya mong gawin yung instructions, and express yourself in English, kaya mong mag-freelancer. Okay. Kaya mong mag-freelancer. And Filipinos, kahit hindi ganun ka perfect yung grammar, di ba? Kasi sa culture natin, parang we're very particular sa grammar. Oy, wrong grammar ka. Pero magulat ka ng mga yung mga US, yung mga Americans. Minsan yung mga kausap mo, wrong grammar pa sila. Mas wrong grammar pa sa atin. Okay. So, yun, when it comes to English, you shouldn't be too conscious. What's important is that you can read and understand instructions or if go begin ka ng instructions over um, the phone, you can do them. Okay? And then you can express yourself na maintindihan ka ni client. Yun, that's all that's needed. Okay, that's all that's needed. And most of us, we can do it naman. Most of us have that level of English na to read, understand, to do instructions, and to communicate, to express ourselves. And you can always practice. Okay? You can always practice when it comes to English. Right? Now, <laughs> Queen's English. Oh, practice, practice, practice. It's all about practice. If you want to improve on interviews, if you want to improve on English, even if you want to learn new skills, you want to get better, it's always about practice, right? More than but what's more important actually than itong, I know, itong background technology, more important than skills. What's most the most important thing is that is your mindset and your behavior, right? Your mindset and your behavior. Positive mindset, that no matter what the outcome, okay? Hired, yay. Not hired, you're still happy and you want to know why. You, know, you can ask the client why you weren't hired um, or you can see, okay, this is where I could have improved on. Right? So the positive mindset is the most important thing right? because most of the time you won't get hired. Most of the, most of the interviews I've get, been on, I wasn't hired. Okay. But it's up to you whether you're going to give up or you're going to say, okay, ito yung nakamali ako dito, ah. this is where I made a mistake. Okay, I'll learn from it. I'll do better. And you still have that positive mindset. Okay. So that's actually the number one most important thing when it comes to interviews. Because that way, you can, through practice, you can keep on improving. And eventually, yun, you'll be able, be able to be, become better and better. 
practice, practice, practice. Oh, we have we have a webinar. Um, I'm not sure which webinar this is. We have a webinar also about English. Dami na mga webinars. We have a lot of free information there. Oh, minsan di ba sa atin, we do maka wrong grammar pa tayo. Um, even speaking English or Bisaya, uh, Tagalog or Bisaya, di ba? I make a lot of mistakes then. Pero, oh, understandable. Nintindihan naman natin. So, it's okay. Right? Same thing with the clients. So, don't be too conscious English. Okay. Uh, let's move on to one of the most common questions also again is getting paid. How do you get payments from clients? How do you receive payments? Now, in Upwork, if you're using Upwork um, or some other platforms also, Upwork can do a deposit directly into your bank account. So what happens is that the client, the company, the employer will pay their money. Okay, let's say they're going to pay you $200. So the $200 goes into Upwork. The client takes out their credit card or bank account, pays that $200 to Upwork. Upwork charges a fee, um, depends the setup, and then you can withdraw the rest to your local bank account or to your PayPal account. Okay. Um, others, you can use PayPal, you can use TransferWise, you can use Payoneer also to receive payments. The most common is PayPal, you know, most known, um, but there's also other, other ways that you can send money internationally. Okay. These are just ways how you can send money. And then, um, when you receive payments from clients, like example from PayPal, you can use oh, from Upwork, you can use a BPI account, a BDO account, or a starter chartered bank account, and other um, accounts as well. These are just some examples of the bigger banks that are that you can use with um, Upwork and with PayPal. Oh, PayPal free naman yung accounts sa PayPal. So what I'd recommend is you just create a free account sa PayPal. And then you can receive payments there. Without a problem. And you also, you should also have a bank account. Um, BDO, BPI, those are the biggest ones. Um, so that you'll be ready to receive payments. There are clients that do international transfers, but that's rare. Uh, most of the time, it's done through uh, either Upwork or PayPal. All right. Um, we are, ooh, we're moving towards the end of this presentation. Now, you can also... Um, send stars i think there's a star button over here you can show our support guys by sending stars to us on our uh, on this facebook page i think there's a, like a place that you can give us some stars and it helps us out in facebook that you give us stars you know it helps us continue our mission of helping improve filipino lives through freelance education and if you want to help us out you know you can you can send us stars or you can share this with other people also all right, um, now moving on to our Valentine's offer. Diba sabi natin kanina, we have a surprise. We have something related to Valentine's. We have a Valentine's Day offer. What this is, is if you enroll in the VA Bootcamp from tomorrow, from Valentine's Day, until February 20. I don't know, February 20. What day is that? Saturday at Until next Saturday. Then um, what we'll do is we will give you two freebies freebies are you get a 15 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me or with anna soriano okay so you get a one-on-one -on -one coaching call which we don't do um i used to charge a lot of money for one-on-one -on -one coaching calls um five thousand for one-on-one -on -one coaching calls so you get five thousand pesos na value from that is, is for free if you enroll in any va bootcamp course and the first 20 to pay in full, okay, in the installment, the first 20 to pay in full, you'll automatically have a internship, an internship in Flip or the VA Bootcamp Facebook pages. So, may may learning kapa, and then you can get an internship um, for free if you're one of the first 20 to enroll and pay in full, starting, um, I think, starting now na lang para ano. I'll just open it up to right now. Yeah, coupons. So if you're one of the first 20, yun, you will be able to get that, that slot. Um, and even if you're not one of the first 20 to pay in full, you get that 15, you can schedule a 15 minute one on one coaching call with either me or with Anna Soriano. All right. So um, some really great Phoebe's we have right now. Um, this is. 
I don't think we've done this before. So this is the first time. It's not a paid internship, but you get hands-on experience, which a lot of people really value and really ask for. Those on installment plan, um, if you in, you have to enroll during this period, and then to get the uh, no, to get the the slot, the internship slot, you have to pay in full. All you 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 get the full payment plan, not the installment plan. So you and happy Valentine's Day, guys. Happy Vablen, Vab Valentine's, Vablentine's, and with <laughs> the all. Um, and then we just had this promo over here. Okay, um, now just sharing a story. I just want to share this with you guys. Um, we we one of our this is from one of our students last month uh, from Ronski. Katas ng freelancing niya. Um, here, one year after he graduated from the boot camp, ito, way back 2018, nag enroll siya sa starter course. After one month, um, after one month, masit sa Facebook group kung legit or not. So, akala niya baka scam. He graduated June 30, so one one month later, just just studying one hour per day. So, he had he was still working at that time. Um, 14 to 17 days after Hustle Challenge, got my very first client in Guru.com. Then, pinasok ko si Upwork and had multiple clients, full-time and part-time. To make the story short, I reached my first $10,000 in earnings on my first year. So, that's $10,000. That's like 500,000 pesos. For one year pa lang, he was able to earn 500,000 and then doubled in my second year. So, ano, 1 million na yun, ha? And his second year in freelancing. Conclusion. So, sa mga aspiring freelancer and, and bago lang dyan, isa lang masasabi, or ma-share ko sa inyo. Nagawa ko to sa malamang sa malamang kaya ah so so malamang na malamang kaya nyo din to. Uh, baka nga mas mahigit pa dito. But of course, I will give you the benefit of the doubt as what I did para fair naman ang laban, uh, 'di ba? So first year reached ten thousand dollars, second year doubled, so that's one million pesos. Ang laki ng earnings niya, diba? So this is just a story of of one of our one of our students. Um, in the VA boot camp. So this is, you know, this is, these are the kind of graduates that we produce. Um, and if you want to enroll, like we mentioned earlier, we have our promo right now. Um, and you can choose between the different packages as well. Hindi naman pilitan, pero I do think that it is a great opportunity for you. All right. So yeah, I know some of you guys are waiting for this, waiting for the certificate. So you guys can get a certificate of completion. This is how it looks like. Ganan design certificate that you can add to your portfolio, that you can show to clients. Um, all you have to do is fill in this. There's a form over here. So you have to have watched this. And I want you guys. So this is just a form, and you can fill it out. It's a survey form. Um, just asking a few questions, and once you fill that out, by next week, okay, hindi naman agad yung sending, but by next week, we'll send you your certificates that will look like this. Okay, um, let me look at some questions. I, I copy-pasted some questions earlier, and if you guys have additional questions, um, please post them in the comments section. Yeah, we're about, we're about to end right now, um, so we're going to answer some questions over here. So this is the where you can get your certificate guys so again um answering some questions how to attract clients to services not an offer more so freelancers an app um we answered we answered these earlier like we answered i'm just deleting the ones we answered not confident you have the skills to freelance uh, I thought we, we answered these. My basic skills. Panaguma ng portfolio. Oh, na answer palato. All the questions I, I I I typed in earlier, we've answered them. So yun, who um any more questions? Parang wala ng questions dito. Ah. Okay, okay. So yeah, to get your to get your certificate, just go over here, vab.ph slash ft2021. Okay. Just go to vab.ph slash ft2021. 2021 so that you can get you can fill in the form to get the certificate all right um thank you so much guys for your time oh wait well let me look at some questions here man up about smm course yes we do have a social media management course um in the va boot camp uh just look at our we have a like a list of all the courses that we sell 
if you don't have any connects, how do we get one? Uh, are you talking about Upwork connects? Um, you're given some free connects every month. And if you run out of the free ones, you have to pay uh, a fee to buy more connects. Included by VAs, Amazon VAs a bootcamp. Um, not yet. Okay, not yet. You know, Sabine, but we do have an e-commerce VA, e-commerce VA course that's included if you get accelerated or complete package. How to apply as chat moderator? Um, San, uh, other you can go on Upwork and apply as a chat moderator, or what? What's there are a lot of jobs online that you can search for if you go on Upwork or online jobs at PH, and in the platforms I mentioned earlier. All right, uh, it looks like we don't have any other questions. So thank you so much, guys. I'll leave you with a inspirational quote over here. The distance between your dreams and reality is called action. Okay, so if you want to reach your dreams based on what you have right now on reality, all you have to do is take action on what you've learned and take action on what you will learn. So thank you so much, guys. Um, don't forget to fill in the forum over here and have a great Valentine's Day. Bye-bye.